Don't you dare hug me. Uh, <laughs> give me a hug. No! People, stay away! Yes, you stay over there. Stay over there. Shoo! I'll have, I'll have a hot dog on this side of the barbecue. You'd be over <laughs> you there. You can have a hot dog over there. Yes. <laughs> I'll take the strong bottles, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take Lulu, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lulu will uh, go straight to you. If I could, I would bring Sessie, but she will be a whirlwind oh. and it's a pain in the ass to fly her to, uh, over there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to bring a, ch bring a change of clothes this time in case any of the dogs decide to jump up on me again. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, remind me, what happened last time? So I was wearing this... this um jumpsuit this one piece thing mm -hmm. and mm. i don't remember which dog it was but one of the doggos got really excited and jumped up on me so i had a paw prints all the way down What's the leg uh, space dog that was it really might, have, excited it about might it. Yeah. have been yeah. yeah i don't know i guess i just had that type of face you know look at me come jump this, on me this is know. a small lady i can take her yeah, yeah. jump up <laughs> her yeah ceci will actually be like that too she's uh very enthusiastic with new people especially if she gets any attention whatsoever she will jump up, uh, jump up on you, which is really annoying, and I would like to get her to do that less, but I just can't. I just can't. We're back yeah. at the game. Let's go. Hello. I, uh, yeah, God, controls for this game. Where are we? This, this is not melee. Like, fuck you. That's melee. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's block. block oh, yeah. Hey, that was good. Hey. <laughs> oh, old man uh, reflexes are fast. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. How do computers work? Ooh. Nice. Oh, yeah, we have an ant. Ant yeah, we, have a, we have a small ant. Uh, oh yeah, I, rem I, I remember we climbed up a barbecue, didn't we? And it burned us. Yeah. And then we tried to figure out how to get around it, but we couldn't. And I had my sombrero and everything. So I, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not sure why I burned. Yeah. Was, it, it, it helps against heat, mm. I think. Do we uh, need like an like a like an astronaut suit, but anti-heat? I don't know how to. No, I have. A, this is the end line wide brim and the end line poncho, which are sizzle protection. But I don't have the pants yet because I, we missed some end line parts. Maybe there's like a full set bonus. Maybe. Does it say? Let's head back to the base, shall we? Yeah, might as well. So it's around the pond Could that do. way. Does everyone? Were we on, every, you have were we dandelion on the way? bits. Um, 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 already yeah. fucked after the base. Okay. Everyone got dandelion bits? Uh, yes and no. I don't. Hey, okay. Don't hang on. <laughs> Well, there is a pond here. We'll take somewhere. There's also lots of water on these uh, grass thingies. Grass strands of grass? Blades? Help. Blades of grass. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. I'm <laughs> only taking a master's degree in English. <laughs> I don't need to know. Let's jump down here and head back to the base. Probably have better English than that in your verse. I'm, I'm opening my dandelion at the last minute. Fuck you. Fuck. <laughs> well, to be fair, I'm not. I'm not like when people that are English say that they have a master's degree in English. That's uh -huh. a different thing than me that has a ma master's degree in English as a foreign language. Yeah. Which means how to teach it to people who don't know it already. <laughs> Look, you just uh, lock yourself into a cabin with a bunch of uh, English-speaking native uh, people, and uh, your English will go uh, go down to the toilet. Yeah. Down the toilet, yeah, especially when they're drunk. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's uh, one way of doing it. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I did it again. It's there, it's there, it's there, I fucking I hit the I blasted it instead of the E. Oh shit! Where's my right here? Oh, fuck! Do you have it? Yeah, it's over here. Oh, over there. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. Uh, thank you, Westy. Thank you very much, Westy. Yeah, but there, there are like some words that in some contexts they will be there all the time and then in other contexts you will never see them. Like there are some words you'll only ever read about in fantasy books, mostly, so... Yeah, the majority of my English is currently from Warhammer 40k, which isn't great. Space you know? <laughs> <laughs> racism! I, 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 uh, I use the word... Um, uh, uh, is it choleric? I can't remember. In, in, as in it's choleric. a 40k thing. Like to talk about the four humours. Like one has like... Um, the, the four humours of one's personality. And in a text conversation with my mum, I use the word choleric. Like, as in... I think it was choleric. Oh, really? To be super angry. Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait, where did that come from? Oh, that's 40k. What the fuck? <laughs> well, that's depressing. No water filtration tablets needed. But yeah, hope you're all doing well. We yeah, have, Monday things. We finished off this section of the house. I was wondering mm. if we left anything unfinished, but I don't think so. Do I have a master bedroom yet? With a big, uh, big lazy bed. Just pretend it's beef jerky. Uh, I mean, you can just pick, pick the, pick the one on top. Fucking... I did. Oh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
got the fucking ant attack me on my goddamn character screen. You got the what? Well, I opened up my character screen and an ant appeared out of nowhere and licked my leg. What? Yeah. Oh, look lick, at that. You lick your leg? Yeah. Have you watched? <laughs> Clearly not. Yeah. Oh, my backyard was full again with, with all, all kinds of flying ants. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be th uh, the thunderstorm tomorrow here. So I was you got like, flying ants? Yeah, I got well, big, Go big, ass, big ass flying ants. No, look at that. I got ants. I got to get rid of them. Go get one. You get a no. queen. Yeah, I don't, I don't, she was very big. I might, I might have uh, thrown some of the ant uh, powder in, uh, in the nest. Uh, We're out of entrances. berry berry, by the way. So if we want to make more berry leather, we'll need more berries. Uh-huh. No, but no, I, I don't want more ants. I want to get rid of them. I, I want more ants. ants. My ant farm's not we'll growing. Berry, berry any. What? Berry what now? We've got barely any. Uh, yes. Barely, uh, uh, Firefly headlamp. That sounds uh, useful. Ding dong, barely on high. Hey. And all that. Perfect time for Christmas. All right, so the ant line <laughs> spurs. Yeah, I need more end line pincers and end line parts. Okay. You're Which we have July. none of whatsoever. It's tier three, by the way, so. Repair. Oh, How the do all we repair. Fill these... all this rotten food? Oh, you can you can do something with it. In the smoothie maker, I think? Hmm. I got a bunch of spoiled meat. How do you drop off your stuff at Hot the Pot? There it is, Hot Deposit. <laughs> Watch him pick up the entire no, 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 thing. Yeah. about your deposit. Yeah. Hang on. So yeah, Lulu went outside for her walkies this afternoon, and she was she was like, "Oh yeah, time for walkies," and she went outside, and not three minutes later, the heavens opened. So wherever she is, she's completely soaked. Oh no! And is probably not happy. There's going to be a very grumpy dog returning midstream. <laughs> oh, you're very... not even walking there yourself. No, no, I've got a dog walker. Yeah, and, and then, then he's bitching at me for having a cleaning lady. <laughs> no, no, it's convenient because uh, uh, the I dog... Yeah. Fucking same, same cleaning, cleaning lady. lady. Yeah, what do you mean? The bourgeois. No, I, I hate cleaning. It's quite I bougie, pay someone to do it for me. Yeah. I have a dog walker. doesn't even want to walk alone. By himself. I, I still walk her. Just it's sometimes more convenient in the afternoons. Uh-huh. Fuck you, I don't need to justify the fucking No, that's why I don't, I, I don't need to justify my fucking cleaning lady. Uh, uh, hang on. The birds work for the bourgeoisie. Oh. I wonder how long it's going to be into the dystopian future until we have people walkers. People what, sorry? People walkers. Like, you need somebody to go on a walk with you, so you hire them, and then they I go think, for a walk. I think, well, I think that's just a old thing people. already. That's, yeah. just a, that's just a prostitute, isn't it? No, no, no. It's in old people with chaperones, <laughs> oh. you know? Okay. Technically, there's already something like that where there's uh, services where you can get someone to either cross the bridge with you or drive you across the bridge. Oh, really? Yeah. Some people just have really bad fear of bridges. Hmm. Right. Why are you seeing hmm like you're plotting something? <laughs> You're going to start your own service, rich, but in yeah. the middle of the bridge, you're just going to suddenly start yep. swerving the wheel. Yep. Oh, we're losing control. Uh. Right, let's have a look at this. Uh, Wolf spider outside. What did you call it? Oh, careful, big spider. Ant lion. Ant lion, lion of the ants. Mm. Thank you, Driftish. Thank you, Scottish. Thank you, Westy. And thank you, Ultimate Cannon. For some reason, I have arrows in my inventory again. It's so weird. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah, they, just, they just seem to appear. Yeah, they seem to appear out of nowhere. It's so strange. Yeah. And this, this ant that keeps running into the wall is just going to run into the wall forever, I guess. Yep. It's, is it still there? Oh, it is still there. Yeah, I stole some ant eggs and then they hatched. So now we have ants. Hmm. Cake fixed it. I fixed it, me murdered. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh... Calm down there, Leon. I fix it. What did I just... <laughs> Fucking aphid just jumped over my swing. What's this? Yeah, today I made a uh, a proper nice salad because I need to sort my weight out. I've had too ah. many takeaways. I've been ah. so naughty the last five weeks. Ah, yeah. I I 
I ordered a pizza this weekend and uh, <laughs> I ordered uh, some one of those the Magnum ice cream uh, cups, hmm. which, which has a lot of chocolate and car salted caramel in it. And they they were like, oh, thank you for being a loyal customer. And they gave me some uh, some uh, some an extra dessert as well. So I've been just eating very very <laughs> thank unhealthy. Thank you, Turtle. Uh, thank you. Dessert. Some some chocolate mousse. You know, this oh. Oh, oh, this is really good. So yesterday I dug into the uh, the ice cream. See, it's not just the belly, like the belly fat that I'm just trying to get rid of. It's also I've got I've got to bear in mind I've got high blood pressure now. Oh, yeah. So it's like I've got to fucking start sorting that shit out. Yeah. Well, I've got to keep keep an eye on it and then uh, make sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But that shit. Is, is it really you. high right now? No, no, no. It, it, it's above average, but it's like you know, it, my doctor called me to say, look, dude, you need to fucking you know. You're Give me some pills to lower my blood pressure. <laughs> no. I'd rather not. Rather just yeah, you know, fix the diet. Yeah. But then it's like, but I fancy some noodles, and the takeaway's just down the road. But I love red meat. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna yeah. stay. It's been ages since I had a stay. Oh yeah, I can't, yeah oh, we had to stay pretty much steak pretty much <laughs> every you, day Nora when we were Shammer. over in the US. <laughs> Thank you, Nora. <laughs> it was really unhealthy. Thank so you, Turtlebacker. I know that nothing I can say can change your mind, but if you don't like fix it now, then in the future you won't have any choice. I know. Yeah, yeah. it's raising the, the stakes yeah. in the future. So you might as well just enjoy it right now. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying the opposite of what I'm yeah. thinking, which is just go fucking nuts with all the yeah, beer. That's, and... no, that, yeah, that's what I'm No, that's what Mag is saying. Well, <laughs> it's like, better hurry up and enjoy it while you can, you know? I like got, Mag's uh, argument. Yeah. You've got 10 years. Yeah. You need... Once you're 50, what is it? It's just canasta all day, every day in the retirement home. So don't <laughs> you don't need to live that long. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Was it Steve or just life as an amusement park? Ride it till the wheels fall off. Uh -huh. Is that a guy from Jackass? Yeah, Steve. Uh. Ooh. Hmm. That's a pretty cute what does the fucking ant do? Ant uh, thinks. I don't know. What does the end do? It, it does precisely as what much is, as your end. What, what, yeah, what does your end do? Or what does your dog do? Sit in my spice. Well, not the dog. The ant sits in my spice cupboard and doesn't breed, doesn't mm -hmm. make eggs. <laughs> well, the, you them. know, you know, you're doing something wrong because I can't get rid of them. I keep spraying I poison and I keep trying to murder them, and they keep multiplying whatsoever, regardless what I do to them. So just you're doing put something Wombles, wrong. Just put a Bluetooth speaker next to the nest and put Wombles video essays on it. <laughs> open it, open it, they're dead. Yeah. Little, tiny little noose. Don't even need to boil it. Really, it's worked so far. Uh... Yeah, I went to, I went to town the other today on, uh, on the hedges around my house. It's been uh, very wet and uh, rainy lately, Thank so you, Chad. it's all it's big jungle. So I, I have a big electrical hedge trimmer and I went to, I went to town on a part of it. Mm -hmm. And now my uh, bio container, where you can uh, basically uh, recycle and, uh, and they, they sort it separately. It's completely full already, and they, they already emptied it yesterday. So yeah, or this morning is actually. So yeah. Look at you, Captain Fancy. It's not. It's not a weird spin. It's my bio container. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got. I got a green container. I got one for plastic. Got one for uh, for uh, uh, the rest of the rubbish. So yeah. He's talking about a recycle bin. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Sort of. Uh, sort of recycling. You know. They got a greenery one as well, where you just all the, the biological. The, yeah, the, the one where you shit in. Well, normally I do that in a toilet, but you know. Well, you gotta recycle, man. So, have we analyzed any of the materials from the barbecue area, and did it give us anything new? Uh, did we have any materials from the barbecue area? Nee. Nee. I already, I already got some, which was for the oven. The coal, right? Yes, the coals. So then maybe wait. Well. Ugh. What did we need for those ant lion things? Obviously ant lion, but okay, so silk rope and then we need to kill some of the ant lions to get the We got a spicy shard. Thank you, Mr. Stuff. X. Thank you very much, Mr. X. I've got uh... oh. <laughs> And bee fuzz. So we need to kill more bees and more ant lions in order to get all of that equipment, I'm pretty sure. Roger, Dodger. Just getting some food and bringing it back. Although I'm purely guessing, because I don't even know if that equipment's going to be good enough. Mm. You've done a great job with the house, Kate. Thank you! Looking amazing. Hang on. It's all analyzed. Mm 
Yeah, definitely. Definitely is a little bit more cozy than barn house. Or like a house that looks like a barn. How many aphids is that? Cube house, yeah. Yeah. That's my that's my default build mode. Like make a make a square, put some yeah. shelves in it, and a bed, and then that's my house. Ta-da! Yeah. Yeah, like make a make a box out of dirt in Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I generally go underground, and they can't judge you for whatever's up above, above ground, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay. I remember on one of the shows I played on, there was like this whole dwarf underground vault system that they built. So on like the surface, it looked like nobody had done anything on the yeah. surface, but there was this large underground network. Full Mines of Moria style uh, mm. underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was actually pretty cool. Like there was, there was a whole room where they were like, it was, it looked like somebody had taken like a chunk from the surface mm. and put it down below oh, really where, cool. they, where they were growing trees and stuff like That's cool. underground. Can you do that in Minecraft? Yeah. Grow it underground? The that trees? Work? Yeah. I yeah, they just need enough light. enough light and enough space and All right. grow, grow just fine. We had uh, one save where uh, we, we all had this collective village. But we, we tunneled beneath the village initially just to get coal or whatever and just open up some tunnels. Anyway, eventually hey we there, built bro. the village over the top of it and we sealed hey, the tunnels up? and forgot about it. I was talking to the ant oh. heap. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Anyway, so like literally years later, the server, the server kept running. We, we opened it up again and you know the Enderman? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So this was early Minecraft and the Endermen were a little bit different, but the Endermen had basically been spawning beneath the village and had been moving stuff around. So when we opened up the tunnels again, of course, anything that we had touched, like stairs, was still completely intact. So it showed the original layout of the tunnels, but everything else was just wild, man. It was so like the Endermen had basically rearranged so much of the tunnel. Oh, network. really? That's that's really cool, actually. It was I all like, like weird and spiky and blotchy because for years they've just been doing their thing underground. I love that. Mm. They should see a doctor if they've been doing their thing and it's weird, spiky and blotchy. Mm. Oh, shit. I really misclicked my mind. I'm just looking for bees that I can Fuck! I bought the Who's wrong buying thing? stuff? I bought the wrong thing. I double clicked by accident. Well, the fiber oh, you, bought, you bought the S? Yeah, I, I, well, I was we're gonna do the fiber bandage efficiency. And I wanted to, yeah, but then I also wanted to get the uh, canteen upgrade. Uh, but then I misclicked and I uh, I got the wrong thing, so fine. Well, well, we have that now. We, have, we now have a sign set. <laughs> We've got the S, we need to draw the S. The immortal S? Uh, the immortal S. Uh. Uh. Hmm. It's the it's the ant lions are on the edge of the sandbox, not anywhere else, right? Yeah, they're in the whole part, uh, so I think they're all in the sandbox. Right. Yeah. Maybe we should make an outpost. Uh huh. With a bed that you can warp to. Yeah, like we could make like a second smaller house nearer the hot thing if we're going to be going there quite frequently. That might actually uh... make more sense. That sounds sensible. Oh, I apologize. Um, what, what, <laughs> what nonsensical thing can we do instead? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Build a walkway all the way to the sand pit. Yeah. <laughs> no, a tower that we can fly off to the sand pit too. We're gonna go really high. Yeah, oh, we like need a zip, zip line. line. Yeah. <laughs> how much? Now how you're much thinking with portals. Would you need to go all that way? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, Thank you, FVKT. Thank you, FV. Just trying to get some bee fuzz. Unbelievable. Mm. Are you over by the tree or up to the uh, tree? Next to the penis. How is I, the penis? I love that we know where Girthy. that is. Penisy. Yeah, what you've been up to this week so far? Do you mean today or mm -hmm. last week? Uh, today and then weekend. Uh, what did I do? Oh, I'm uh, cat sitting. Oh. For the neighbours. <laughs> it's it's the neighbours' cat 
it's got like a little nook with a like um one of those cat doors that has like a chip thing uh -huh. oh, yeah, so yeah, that yeah. only that cat can get through yeah oh, okay. so Flat. yeah and so all i have to do is just go in there and and fill up the food once a day so it's not too bad but yeah the cat is um Moody, as they put it. So it's a <laughs> pat at your own risk kind of cat. Ah, I like those. The does have the most spirit. Yeah, so um, something that Q got to experience. Because obviously, so Q grew up with cats. I didn't. Um, So Q went straight over and started petting the cat. Oh, no. And uh, that went well for about a minute. Until it didn't anymore. <laughs> what happened? What did it do? And then the cat would just, you know, haste and like... Show claws and yeah. And look, you don't pet him on the danger zone. That's the belly. There's a bee. Oh yeah, yeah, but like, it's not even about that. It's just the cat will want to be petted until it doesn't want to be petted yeah. anymore. Yeah. I used to cut uh, cat watch uh, like one of my mates' cats when he uh, was you moving houses. Thank you. And uh, uh, I had him in the house for a half a year. <laughs> I love that cat because he was he was an actual asshole. <laughs> because he would he would come to you and just just give you like like pet and push his head against you like pet me pet me and he pet him three times and he just bite you in the fingers and run off like fuck you, I love that cat it was great, mm -hmm. guaranteed asshole. Ouch. Nice. It's going much quicker now that we've got the yeah uh, proper right. bows. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I've been doing some cooking. I made some uh, Mediterranean sea bass on a bed of potatoes and tomatoes oh, over the weekend. Oh, fancy. Nice. And then I opened up my... Uh, I wrapped it all in silver foil, and I put it in the on the second like tier of my fridge, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, it turns out that I didn't wrap it either tight enough, or the plate might have been at a weird angle, because the olive oil managed to drip out of the plate and has partially filled the... Uh, the vegetable um, like slot drawer at the bottom of the fridge. Oh! So I reached in to get uh, to make a salad. I got an onion. I was like, "Why is this onion covered in oil? Olive Eww. oil?" Okay. I was like, oh no! That's nasty. Ouch. To be honest, it's better than your usual exploits where you make the fish explode. <laughs> that happened twice. Yes, I keep making that happen. Oh, it's a stink bug. It's been so long, I don't remember what stink bugs even look like. Have you got your mask on? Uh, no, but I should be okay. Through sheer force of will. Cool. There we go. Yeah, no, I did some like lazy Thank version of this. like. Um, Thank you pasta dish like mm -hmm. I got some pre-made tortellini and then I got some tomato garlic sauce and I just chucked it in one of those oven dishes and sprinkled cheese on top and put mm. it in the oven that that was <laughs> that was my dinner sounds nice yeah just I found just... the treasure it is a single bit of salt salt a single salt shard is my treasure uh-huh Salt shard? Yes, a shard of salt. Salt shard. Are those... Beep, 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 beep. What are you doing with them? Mosquitoes. Yeah, they're not salty bees. things. Oh no, the mosquitoes are returning. Yes, mosquitoes. Uh, where's that oh. from? What? What are you quoting? Nothing. <laughs> I'm just being overly dramatic. Uh. Not all oh. of our humor is just quoting do, things. Do we need bombed beetles? We're, we're not the nostalgia critic, can't <laughs> we? We, we need, need ant lions mostly. Yeah. I don't know if Look. we need bombed beetles or anything, but I'm sure it won't. Get hurt. Some the sand uh, pit. Let's do some collecting there. Pack up some ant lions. Cool, sounds good. Oh, yeah, as soon as this bombardier beetle goes down. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Oh, pardon me. I think I might have to run to the door. Can you cover me? Hang on. Yay! Helping a spider. 
Oh, he's being attacked by an ant. Oh, I see. Let him slowly be devoured by an ant. Nah, no, that's okay. Where was I? Oh yeah, arrows. You little shit. No, oh, I'm sorry. There we go. The bees. The bees. Oh, this I bastard. I could aim. I think I hold the bottom of my shovel again. For <laughs> sake. Keep aiming too low. <laughs> Might have to go make some more arrows. Some more arrows? Yes. Sorry, I got a very excited dog that just burst through the door. Thank you uh, for covering me. Oh, wait, I'm no, looking at, look at your stream right now. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what, not, a, uh, not a very uh, miserable wet dog. No, she's happy. She's ha she got treats. She's happy to be home. Okay. I saw the bird landed over on the machine that I can't remember the name of. The space shuttle? Allow me to engage other parts of my brain. The space shuttle? Uh, maybe? The spaceship is the thing in the the Enlarge zap these things. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay, running back to the base or drop off the B parts? I might be Speaking too of, late for the birds to, bird to have dropped any feathers, but... I think they last a fair while. <sighs> what does, uh, what lasts a while? Feathers. Oh. Never mind. The big cruel feathers you need to chop up. Ah. There's a spider. I don't like it. I don't like it. Kill it. That's easy for you to say with your anti spider armor. No, I'm, I'm wearing the end line now. I'm, I don't have the anti spider armor anymore. I'm, I'm just a little bee. Oh. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah. And as such, I'm going to let it be. Oh, that's, that is bad. I know. Blame Q. <laughs> really? Uh, he's, he, all the pun is coming over to you? Yeah. Yep. To be fair though, it's pretty good because the more dumb jokes that he cracks, the more stupid I get and then, you know, stupid people are happier. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, Stupid what? people are happy. I refer to us, but perchance. <laughs> oh no, the mosquitoes are back at the base. Oh. Uh, yeah, I have to go around them. How do you go around something that's above you? Uh, they were, they were <laughs> next to the water last time I checked. You need help? I'm just gonna try and. Okay, yeah. I failed. I'll take him. Open my inventory. What am I doing? Ouch. Oh. Bloody things. Ouch. Ouch. Damn it. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Did you just hit me? I don't know we've got an ant on us. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was just returning to make some more arrows, to be fair. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I need more arrows as well. Yeah, well, I just dumped a bunch in the chest that word magically appeared on my person. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
One minute, this dog requires treats. We can't have her be treatle treatless. Ah, uh, might as well give Sessie some treats as well then. <laughs> oh yeah, I should totally bring dog treats to the barbecue, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, sounds like a good plan. Reindeer, oh, dog treats. <laughs> oh, but doesn't wouldn't cheese make them like have indigestion? I don't I'm know. I'm pretty sure Messi gives uh, Percy quite a bit of cheese. I don't. I know they can't really digest it, but yeah, Messi loves giving Percy uh, cheese because he loves it so much. Fair enough. Though I don't think I can bring that over the border. Jeez, that might well, maybe, be actually maybe tricky. Maybe I can. Maybe I can bring it that way. Like I can bring it from Norway to to the Vacuum UK, packed, I think. but not the other way around. Am I dying? Who's dying? Uh, I think something's attacking the outer wall. Hang on. Yeah, you what got the mosquito outside. Need? Right. Oh, for fuck's sake. We definitely need more um, feathers. Okay. Oh, you're right. Whoa! Oh okay. shit! Through, through the damn door. Up. Okay. Just mosquitoes. Ah, uh, got you. Blood. Little bastard. Ouch, that hurt. Pulling out of here. Cool, you can take it. I got rid of I got rid of that one mosquito at least. Cool, cool. Right. Ooh, what's this? Somebody threw their clover shin guards into the lake. Tastes good. Hmm. Maybe you're destined to be queen. <laughs> no, that's a sword. What do you mean that's a sword? Well, if you want, if if a sword rises up at the lake, you become the queen of the king. What kind of system for governance is that? <laughs> oh, the bird's back. Bird's back. Whoa! Bird's back. Where's the bird? On top of the yep. enlarger matron. Look at that. It's Tom. Hmm. Just need to make some arrows. There's also spooders on the way, so. I killed two spooders. Just cool. like a food pound. So wait, how do we get the feathers from Tom? Do we shoot it? Don't shoot Tom. Uh... It just drops feathers. I, I bet it becomes really angry when you shoot it. The entire yard is screamed with, filled with the screams of "This is bullshit." Mm -hmm. That's a spider. Speaking of this, oh speaking of Tom screaming, how is your Elden Ring going? Yeah, pretty good. We did some uh, seamless call. Bevan joined us yesterday as well, so it was good, good fun. How's that going? Are you starting a complete new one? Yeah, we started completely uh, new. It's been over over a year now since we played it, so we just started over. And then we're working our way to the DLC. I feel like shooting the bird is a really bad idea. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Damn it. I don't, I don't have range. I can throw a pebble at him, but... Yeah, the arrow went straight through the bird. Oh. Axe. So when do the feathers appear? I don't really know. Are you ruffled they them? appeared already? Oh, surely they would be quite easy to spot. Or... Oh, shit. <gasps> That's not easy when someone's watching. Surely you should know. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Ouch. Oh, it flew away. Oh. 
Did it leave any feathers? I'm, honestly, I don't know. Like... No, I don't kind of uh, can't see any. Um, where are you guys? I'm above you. Oh, did you climb the thing? Gotcha. Oh, shit. Okay. What? Oh, shit. As in, we couldn't find any feathers that we wanted to make our good bow uh, arrows. We need feathers and we need a uh, spider. What's it? Spider ass string. Ouch. Do you mind? <laughs> no, huh? I don't mind. Cheeky oh, bastard. Shit. Spider oh. ass string. Yeah, spider ass string. That's what they make their webs out of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sticky juice. Yeah, ass string. All right. That's what I always tell, uh, tell the ladies. Want to see my spider trick? <laughs> uh... Right. Oh, right, no feathers from Tom. That's a shame. Yeah, think about it. Spider-Man lucked out, didn't he? To have, like, the, the yeah. webbing come from his wrists. Every time he wants to swing the buildings, he needs to get his cock out, you know? That could yeah. have been, uh... that could have been <laughs> potentially what it was going to be. Or, like, his, like, gland between his anus and his cock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he actually actually shit it out. like, mm! Yeah. <laughs> that would have been unfortunate. Yeah, that would have been... I think, I think you become... You stop being a supervillain out of sheer embarrassment. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I give up, Spider-Man. Don't shoot your fucking yeah. uh, ass just at me. Fuck off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. You were tied up by his what? And it came <laughs> out of where? <laughs> Ew. Suddenly, Ugh, I, don't want, you. I, don't, I don't want... I don't want pictures of Spider-Man. Go away, Peter Parker. Stop yeah, bringing go, me go pictures away. of yeah, this yeah, pervert. Yeah, yeah. And he sucked it back into his ass like an old spider does? Yeah. <laughs> Why is Spider-Man doing a gootsie? <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> a mental image you can never escape. Okay, so what's the plan? What's the next uh, objective? Go and smack some antlions. Yeah, the antlions at the sandpit, I guess. Okay. Yeah, and or... Potentially building a little outpost there. Oh, yeah. How would the outpost well, they, help, though, compared to just going there and collecting? It just means, you know, if, if we set up some water stuff and food stuff over there, we won't have to go back here every time. Okay. That tastes really good. It's no lemon crime. But Logic. It's better than nothing. But sure, Again, I am canteen. sorry. I, need to boil I have a canteen on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my game. Maybe we could, um, yeah. actually, maybe we should throw some... Let me bring my shovel that I keep... Aphids up on the... Depositing. On the drying rack. Yeah, I put some on the cooking thing. I'll dry aphids on your rack. Mm. I mean, what? <sighs> what else? Uh, so Good I've been, grace. I've been doing some cooking, I've been doing some work on the editing. How's that going? Yeah, going very well. You got enough material? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. So hopefully the bullshit will be, will be funny. Fingers crossed. Mm hmm Um. Well, it's just yeah. people... It's, it's just friends shooting friends. That's basically the oh, whole yeah. bullshit. It's total, it? total yeah. fucking... Yeah, it's the total shit show, yeah. It's chaos, yeah. <laughs> and I have this... I, mm -hmm. I started reading about reflexive thematic analysis. Riveting stuff. <laughs> what does it mean? Um, it's basically a type of analysis where you immerse yourself in a text or a, um, like, yeah, a text of some kind, whether it's like a bunch of comments underneath the post or whether it's an interview or something, and then you immerse yourself in it and try to find emerging themes. You might have done it, like, kind of by accident, but the actual uh, process is a bit more structured. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's basically just a form of um, qualitative analysis. Hmm. And why are we reading read, read, reading about that? Uh, because I need it for my thesis. Ah. I understood some of those words. <laughs> so basically, the benefits of doing quantitative. Thank you, wandering like, biker and reaver. Um, Thank you. 
studies is that you can generalize like you can have a large number mm -hmm. of participants you can get statistics and Data you can sets, say yeah. yeah this probably will apply for a different group of oh so you can do that and generalize thing. but when i do it it's called racism <laughs> <laughs> okay. yikes <laughs> whereas um you do qualitative analysis to gain more nuance so qualitative analysis doesn't necessarily mean like if I go really in deep and like try to discover like the how how does this one small group of people decide to do things that doesn't immediately mean that I can say oh yeah all people do it in this way but it does mean that you have more nuanced understanding of that one group of people that that's basically it yeah I'm with them you're describing racism. <laughs> <laughs> What's the same fit again? Uh, to the uh, to the yeah. west, right? Isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we should go at night. Let's go. Thank you, should Cruncher. We set and a the Ziggles. Set a marker. This map is not very clear. I think it's sort of the, the, the square thingy. Uh, that way, right? <sighs> We've got. It's already know. started. What the fuck? Already. Are we, are we already so tired or some? Yeah. <laughs> it happens every time. It's like 7.45 at your place. What the fuck? I know. I know. I know. Ooh, hang on. I just need to check my emails. Hang on. Your emails. Okay. Sorry. Working while no, playing games. Um, solicitor, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very important. Uh... Why is he sending you holiday pics? <laughs> Chef, did you, did I, I told you about that fucking craziness. What? So the deadline for this bungalow that I was hoping to get was last Friday. And yet, last Wednesday, the solicitor went on holiday. Hang on. And he was sending you pictures? Of course he But he was working remotely, like on the plane with a spotty connection. I was like, no. dude? Well, to be fair, I've done that before. Well, no, I, but something went really wrong and I just did it on the plane. As sure. long as he's still working, Not but great. at the same time, you know, malpractice. Yeah. But it doesn't inspire confidence. It's like, hand it, hand it over to someone in the office? Yeah, yeah, basically. You know? Anyway. Okay, shall we get sorry, I'm all done. Let's go. Yes. That's the sandpit. Uh that was west, right? I think so. I'm like, you coming? Okay. Oh, yeah, right. This way. That way. Alright. So the, the long and the long story short with the bungalow is that all the parties should be ready now. Mm-hmm. That's good. So it's just a case of the legal people just need to start turning the cr turning the wheels. Right, 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 right. You got all the uh, bumps uh, cleared up then? I or at least hope covered. so. I hope Have so. Have you made sure that there are any generic grocery stores nearby? To oh, not yes. be specific, to not say anything about where it is. <laughs> so I know where this is because I grew up there. I'm, ah. go I'm going home. Oh, that's sweet. Um, I think not in this house, but um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's but where, yeah, it's yeah. where I, I I'm from. I did the same with my new house. <laughs> I live like an, uh, half an hour away from where I grew up uh, for 15 years, and I'm basically mm -hmm. just I'm now like three minutes away from where I grew up. It's a nice, uh, nice uh, neighborhood. When you retire, are you gonna move back into your childhood house? <laughs> uh, my parents are actually making it into something where they can live longer if they get less able. So what, the, the golden my, fruit? No, no, my, <laughs> <laughs> no my, my dad actually built the garage in such a way that it's fully isolated and can make a bedroom downstairs so they don't have to go up any stairs. So if it comes to that, they can do that. Mm. But no, I'm not, like, I'm not likely not going to uh, yeah. buy my parents' house. The way you say fully isolated, it makes it sound like a panic room. Ah, yeah, no, no, it's my... Uh, I get heated in that cold. Insulated. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, if they if they ever do like oh, books. bring back the school from where I grew up, then maybe I will move back there. But we as a teacher, you kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring back. Oh the school? my goodness! You okay? What Shit, is we, that? Are we fighting it? Think bug again. Absolutely. Oh Shut up, Pete, with your stories. Yeah. I don't have a gas mask, so you guys enjoy yourselves. Oh fuck, I don't I, do I have a gas mask? I don't think I have it on me. I, I don't. 
I don't have any cares just... left to give, so I'm also running. <laughs> That's why I'm soloing this, am I? Yes. Mm, with these two ants. Yeah, no, so the school that I used to go to when I was younger, they've um, closed down because because of, like, econ economics and money. They decide that they want bigger schools. Oh. Mm. What, which is, like... So, educationally, like, pedagogically, having smaller schools is more beneficial. But nobody cares because you save money by closing them down in the short term. In the long term, you might not save money because people will become more stupid. But yeah, that that won't apply while the politicians are politicianing. So yeah. politician politicianing. Yeah, yeah we're right. gonna government now. It's all gonna be better. You're all not better. you're not considering short term shareholder value, cake. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, I think that uh, what the what I mean, the politicians want is the stupid people. Short yeah. term, you guys in the UK can save a lot of money, like just. Disbanding your entire rail system. Yep. At least it's clean. Yep. We've already done that once. <laughs> it's secretly being renationalized. Really? What, the yeah. rail systems? Yeah, sort of. Just because when the for profits go out of business, no one's wanting to run them, so the government, uh, the government started running them. When was and... it privatized? Am I going crazy? Eh. Uh, Private, yeah, it was privatized. When? I think I, th I don't know if it was Thatcher who did it. More bees up here. Thatcher, huh? When was UK? Nineteen ninety-three, apparently. Yeah, it was I thought either it... Thatcher or John Major. Yeah, I thought it was more recent than that. I was like, I've got like a vague memory. That might be something else the Conservatives oh, no. privatised. Hmm? I hot deposited my dandelion seeds. Oh no. I got oh, a whole bunch. Silly I, got, I got a bunch. I think I did that as well. I got there's seven on me. I think there's a bunch of them uh, by the shovel though. Should be I have seven on me. I yeah, there's, if you look down, Taking there's loads around. of dandelions. You can have some if you want. Yeah, it's, I'm sure it's fine. I'm just travelling up the shovel at the moment. Mag, do you have any? Uh, the drop up. the stack and then it'll let you define how many how many to drop. Thank you. Oh, I dropped all of them. Okay. Here, on me. I took two. Thank you. Yeah. Cake's not here. Hey, Cake. No, she's back there. Um, I'm coming. Thank you, Sushi. I just Soro. I ran past Thank you, the sushi. shovel to yeah. avoid a stinky bug. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make my life miserable. How? Because I'm gonna. S I'm trying to stop drinking fizzy drinks. Ah. Yes. I. Yes. Just in general, or I've been just doing with that. sugar? Uh, just in general. So just for, or, so or for at least tooth cut down. health. Mm -hmm. Just fizzy water? Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, now. Oh, hmm? I was going to make this bottle his, but it's out of his. Um, carbonated water. I, I can't stand carbonated water. You can't? <laughs> it's, just add a little bit of lemonade just, to it, you know? It's not the carbonation, it's the taste. I need ah. flavour. No, 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 no! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you fell down. Uh, the the only way that I can enjoy like the carbonated water that has like that weird aftertaste is if mm. I mix it with like apple juice yeah. or something. But Tonic e water basically. E even still do that because the amount of damage you'll do to your teeth is way less than yeah. constant soft drink. Yeah. For as dumb as it is, the I've got an air up thing and it it does work for me. Air up? What's that, sorry? It's a water bottle, but it's got like a scent pod. Oh god, so one of those it, things. Yeah, it works for me. So Does it work I'm, for you? as long as it's working for me, I'm gonna do it. Because yeah, uh, if I've it helps heard that most down... people just complain that the scent pods had a bit of a weird scent. But if you like the scent, then it's not a problem, is it? Uh, it it depends. The cooler one is absolutely horrendous, but <laughs> this one is, I think mango and pomegranate. It, it it's mm. all right. I don't know what mango and pomegranate's like, but this one smells all right. Hmm. Yeah, I I never really had a problem with with fizzy drinks. Like uh, Q is like loves fizzy drinks. I yeah. rarely ever have it. Like I'll have it if I'm in a at a birthday party or something. I drink very few of them as well. But I I rarely ever buy it for myself. Like it's just not something that I crave. Yeah, I want to cut down because it's pretty much exclusively what I drink. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, that's very much so much water. sugar. Yeah, 
Uh, Devo, because I block all fucking adverts I can find. Bullshit is Fuck advertising. Well, but I, I do like, if I remember to, well, so you can get water from the tap here in Norway that's pretty cold anyways. But if I'm in the UK, I need to remember to like put water in the fridge so that it's cold in, on the warm days. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. And Q has like a fridge tank, so you can just fill it with like four liters and then. Just gonna refill mine, hang on. The thing for me is convenience as well. Yeah. Because for cans, like I normally do, I can just take four up and that'll do me. And then they're just sitting next to me when I need a new one. But for like if juice or anything, I have to go downstairs and start mixing it and just. Why do that when there's a can right next to me? Juice is really bad for your uh, teeth as well, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Juice has juice has got loads of natural sugars and unnatural. But my dentist always like, if you want to drink juice, just drink the juice and then drink some water afterwards to kind of yeah. offset it. <clears throat> and yeah. do not drink it before bed and then not brush your teeth. Yeah, yeah that's really bad. <laughs> yeah. Because not only will you destroy your teeth, but you'll also sleep really poorly because like. You'd You're be probably... fucking buzzed off sugar. Mm. Well, yeah, there's also a lot of sugar in it. You'd be sitting there vibrating at two o'clock in the morning. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we didn't have the see. item for the uh, the maze here yet. We needed something for this, didn't we? Uh, we need a key and new. New. Also, this is a perfect time for y'all. For y'all? Yeah, y'all. For y'all to what? Watch the air gaps as well. But yeah, this is the first time you've see you'll see the invention we picked up. The what? We picked up an invention? The, yeah, uh, the zip the line zip backwards. Line. Oh. Oh, yeah. So when you zip line, you can see your new, uh, your new indentured worker. Okay, here we go. Uh, already connected. What? That's why you hover over the zip line itself, not the base. What have I done? Oh, Just I see. Press escape. Here we go. I'm flying! Oh, yeah, what the fuck? And then hit S. Hang on. <laughs> How cool! I'm coming back up. Oh no! Are we gonna have oh, a problem? No, 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 oh no 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 no! Well, that'd be lined up. Now I regret giving you one. You penis. Well, you were bumping into me. Yeah. Okay. I was in the way. I'll not give you that. Yeah. I tried to reverse very quickly, but yeah. Oh man. I was wondering if we were gonna clip it. Yeah. The fact that we did it was actually pretty cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's cool. so cute. Run! Out! <laughs> Bump it here! Ignore it. <laughs> While we wait for those idiots, I'm going to have some charm in. Hmm. But this is the third time I've got to have to walk yeah. up the shovel now. Oh my gosh! It's but the I'm, cutest. I'm, getting on, uh, I'm getting on quite well with my carbonated water maker. Mm. <sighs> I need uh, to buy some new carbonated water in, uh, in general. I usually have the uh, just just carbonated water. Wait, can we go all the way to the Where top? Did you... I remember you lost no, your carbonated water bottle. Where did you find it? I had it's found a... it in my bed. It's a giant dildo. What are you sleeping with it? I I woke up early in the morning. Mr. B at cruising altitude. And with no memory, must have taken must have used it as a normal water bottle, then just went back. He to actually bed heated it. up the carbonated water. Yeah. I just imagine a carbonated water bottle just exploding in your bed. Yeah. <laughs> I, I make so, no excuses for sleepy me. I'll, uh -huh. I'll, I wander around the flat and do yeah, shit. <laughs> we've we've also heard you talking to yourself. As Continually sleepy babble in my uh -huh. sleep. <laughs> Le legit. Well, if I get this bungalow, I'm gonna set up like a proper microphone stand over my over my bed, with a proper app that's gonna like record me speaking. This is oh, how you so make it, this is how you make new content, basically. We'll do yeah, a sleeping you're bullshittery. In, yeah. You're going into a uh, OnlyFans, I see. But I just continually babble about nonsense when I'm sleeping. So, unrelated to like carbonated water, but mm. um, Q was trying to like budget for a while and when was very passionate for a while on like, okay, I need to get the cheapest stuff possible. Mm. So he got a lot of like the cheapest like Coke off needed. brand thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I saw him drink the real stuff after like 
a month and a half, he nearly like he looked like he was about to be in tears. He was like, "Oh, <laughs> so vile the achieved stuff." Yeah. yeah. Like, my my grandma comes... used to do it. She got the cheapest cola you could get. It was it was really adorable, but it was it was horrible. She just comes it... over to Norway and visits my my mum, who's always got like a lot of selection of like oh. the proper stuff, and just goes. <laughs> 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 Right. Right, let's find some ant lions. Mm -hmm. Or die trying. There's a bed here, right? To respawn. We built one. Mm -hmm. uh, it got destroyed by the ant lion, so I, I need wow. to build a new one. Wow. Okay, do that. Come on. Stop, stop. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> there you go, you can lose it off the edge and it's gone. <laughs> uh, I have no clover leaves on me. Uh, no, I've got nothing. Such a shame, if only someone had them. Mm -hmm. mm. Damn, give me a plate of this. I find the characters incredibly annoying in this game. It's kids. It's yeah. teenage kids. I find them incredibly they annoying. annoying. They yeah. are annoying. What do you mean? You can probably mute them, can't you? <clears throat> yeah, but then there's a replayability and we don't need that. <laughs> Set respawn point. Okay. Right, so let's look. Should we just yeah, jump down into the sand? Let's find one to the fact that someone up. I do have sizzling protection, so let's see if this works with the two items that I have. Uh, if you want, we could do a mini boss battle. Thank you, battle. dialogue. A mini boss battle. Thank you, dialogue. Come over here. We did bring any heals, of course. No. You no, know, you don't need them. Okay. <laughs> an outline down there, isn't it? That is an outline. Watch out, ant got, lion. Probably got too much health. Is this the mini boss? That is a big that is a big oh. outline. Oh, it's pulling me in. Ow. I wasn't mentally prepared. Hey, what am I firing? Here we go. Why are they so strong? Ow! What arrows work well against this fucker? Salt? Oh, okay. uh, look at fresh and spice. No, salt. Okay, I can oh. ah. upgrade my club to that, but we need a salt block for that or something. Oh, help. Oh, great. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Ow. Well, I need to get out of here. Can we get it out of there, or will it just stay in the middle of the pit? It stays in the middle. That sucks. Oh, it dazed it. Don't know how I did it, but I dazed it. Uh... Oh, bloody uh, hell. Help. Owie, 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 owie. Medic. Medic, hang up. Oh, God. Turn a different way. Coming, 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 coming. Willow. Willow. Nice, it's stunned. I was sure that was the end. Do it the Elder Ring way! Just fucking... Hey! Hey! hey. Nice. One part, one pinch. my arrows. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, we got a... We got a pit. That's a lot oh, of arrows. Welcome to the land of the spicy. Oh, look at that. Uh, that sounds like a wolf spider. Sturdy marble. I can't, I can't chop this. Spicy candy. Oh, I can upgrade my club to something with this. Hey. Oh, God. Shit, behind us. It's a small cold. spider. It, I got oh, that's a big one. Uh, fuck. Oh, it's a wolf spider. I've been poisoned. Ow. Are we fight what are we fighting? A full wolf spider. Ow! Just fuck, shit, fuck. Okay. Need help. Ouch, I'm down. We need you. Thank you, Mr. Matt and Marin and King Fishy. Thank you, all of you. You're gonna be Kay. fine, Pete. Stunned. One tiny bit. Oh. Back in the game. I need to get the antidote. 
Okay, throwing this thing. What is this? Hang on. I'm back in. Shit. I'm I'm dumb. How do I use this thing? I'm poisoned. Oh, this is not good. Hang on. Yeah. Help. Oh, oh, he's he's poisoned me. Wait, how do I fucking heal? Hang on. Uh. Thank you. All right, shadows. Crap. You got me. Poison. Oh god. Is it gonna be a wipe? Willow. Willow. Ah, still help. Poison. Give me a hand. Should we just flee? Well, that was a nice experience. Okay, pick up cake and then we should just run. I've got your boots. Poison. Tell me if it's looking at me and can we off. Back in the game. Oh, it's done. I've got to heal somehow. Better than starving. I'm pretty sure I'm poisoned or need something funny. Whoa. I need an antidote. Oh, Fucking back. Don't have any healing left. I need a hand. I think I got stuck in the uh, environment. Nice. There we go. Let me help, Willow. Okay. Nice, easy. Thank so, right. sorry, slow, slow down a bit. So, what, what just happened? We just fought a, 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 an ant lion. Yeah. Went into a tunnel and found this box of something. What's this? What's this? Got some hot candy and. If you come outside, candy. you can uh, you can see a better box. What, hap what What does the candy do? Oh, I got I got uh, poison. Spicy. Pick up, please. Uh, is that damage on I'm your weapon? And I can't get out. Uh, yes. You gotta get out. Oh, next. what happened, Mike? Uh, I was poisoned. Oh yeah. I'm definitely hot to change that one. Or hot cha chans. Yeah. Okay. By the way, it's morning, so you know. Oh, great. Hmm. It's still uh, everybody okay. stand here if you want to heal. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. I've got one of those. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, cover nice. me in your juices. There's that healing tub as well, right? That's not so bad. We need calls Somewhere. for that. Okay, so we found a box of spicy candies. Yeah. yeah. I, I saw cool. this in the upgrade, so I have a, a specific spice I can give an attribute to my ant lion mm. club. Okay. There's also multiple uh, of those. Hydration is the key to So there might be more to discover in oh. that. Hint. But we still need antline parts, so. Yeah. Yes. Should we track down the site? Yeah, keep tracking down, looking for. Yeah, we got one part so far, I think. Yeah. And so it begins. Yeah, here comes the sun. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Once we get the sizzle uh, thingy, we can also check those glinting things that you sometimes see in the uh, sand pit. I oh, guess. Yeah. Maybe that's something relevant, like a material or something. Mm -hmm. um, I we, have a shovel with me. Do we simply wait here for the ant lions to spawn in the daylight? Yeah, they spawned here earlier. I'm going to check out the cacti. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting to see what you do. I'm eating chow mein. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What type of chow mein? Chicken. <laughs> what? Just he seemed like an inside thought that came out. <laughs> but that's what they are. <laughs> they're succulents. Just, just, Ooh, there's a flashy thing. There's flashy things You're in like the water. Doing your Severus Snape impression. Succulents. <laughs> Look, the glinty things. Yeah, she's bringing up the succulents again. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Potter. <laughs> Can I mine this? <laughs> ah, Mr. Potter, our new succulent. <laughs> I don't think I've seen any any of those Harry Potter films. They've not seen the Harry Potter films? No. Guys, I'm standing on a sparkle. I mean, to be fair, the oh, first... Oh, a sparkle there? I'm, I'm coming up. Four or so are definitely children's movies. Yeah. So... Oh, shit. 
I, I had no more uh, dandelion uh, tufts. As I often repeat, I've read one Harry Potter book and it was out of sequence, so I had no idea what the fuck was going oh, on. Oh, yeah, oh, I, really I, set read, there, yeah. I read the fourth book first, and then I read the first book in parallel with the fifth, the second in parallel with the sixth, then I read the four, the third, and then oh, the seventh. It was dumb, yeah. but that's... When you had a limited like library yeah, collection as a kid, you just had to take whichever book they had in the, yeah. in the library at the time, so... <laughs> Fuck Wit and McGee. Fuck. Come down here. Alright. I can't stand you for Jesus. Got an end line here. I have no health. Oh, I've poisoned myself. <laughs> you, you drank the water, didn't you? I did. I was thirsty. Uh hang on. Where is it? I've lost it, thanks to you. Oh, here it is. There's a buried treasure. A buried treasure? Where is it? Oh there. What could it be? Oh. oh, we have a mint. It's mint. Mint. I see. I still have no high tool for that. Uh, do I? Nah. I just like the way that you can still have something on your hot bar, but not actually have it in your inventory. Yes. Hmm. I guess it's supposed to be a way that you can make like different hot bars for different things, but yeah, you can scroll wheel between the hot bars. But yeah, yeah, I get yeah. it. It's, it's annoying. The, the hot bar system is a bit counterintuitive. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know what else is counterintuitive? What? Your face. Mm. Wow. Oh, not a good thing. Wow, wow, Oh, Jesus! Yeah, I know. Found that line. Oh my god, it's found me! Uh, Jesus Christ! Too... What the fuck did you do there? Oh, that's... Okay, there's not one line. Okay, okay, okay. So, a second ant lion has eaten the tower. We need you. I'm burning up, so I'll do two seconds. Yep. Come on, Max. We need you. Do we need Max? Wait, uh, yeah, you need Max. me! I got the sizzling uh, stuff. Is this where the spood has lived? Uh, what is it? It's gonna come out. Jump on something. Get out. Get out. Uh, get off the sand. Yeah. Did it just come up under the Aye. fucking apple thingy? The apple is well, sizzling, really? When it goes down under the sand, run and yeah, jump keep on. moving. Now. <laughs> there we go. Right, he's on me. Yeah, my sizzling bar is really slow with this uh, equipment. That's really good. Nice. There we go. Cool. Good time. Two end line parts. How many do we need? Uh, uh, quite a few, actually. A gajillion? Uh, where's it? No, there we go. Uh, another one. I'm gonna drop all of these for everyone. Here it comes. Wait, we haven't. An... Well, Ooh. It looks like we haven't analyzed the apple bits. There's um, there's arrows on the floor here. Thank you. Lots of arrows. Here it comes. Ooh. Fuck. We can now make human food. Whatever What's that it? is. No. Ow, okay. Nice. Oh, nice. Come on, Max. We need you. Thanks, Thank buddy. you for the arrows. Do you know what? This might actually help if I do this. Putting on some more armor. Uh, yeah, I've no, no, oh, nothing God. to make some healing stuff. Get my stuff. full set. My armor's breaking down. Food. <laughs> this heat is unbearable. Do not subnautica that food. <laughs> hum, nom. <laughs> right. What was the recording session for that, like? Yeah. It's no women crime, but now what? We can't really. More passion, more passion, more energy. More footwork. <laughs> uh, any more glinty stuff? I can kind of go there. I can't really go out there. 
Oh, I see another glitty thingy. Uh, that's found a shadow over here. <laughs> it's gradually go? going away. Oh, here. Oh, I need a higher tier tool for this. There's a shadow here. There's a little bit of shadow here. Oh, Mag's all the way over there. Where were you? Oh. There's an end line pit here. But let's not go in there with this current health uh, situation. <laughs> There's some bees over there if you want to kill them to repay I've our got armor. I've uh, Would you put any berry leather? Oh. Uh... There we go. Oh, a whole bunch <laughs> of stuff. It's just throwing ants at us. Yeah, it's throw, it's throwing <laughs> ants at us. What the fuck? <laughs> I wonder oh, God, if putting berries in the sizzling sun would make berry leather. <laughs> yeah, that would be an idea. So we're heading back? I think so. Oh, do we have enough to make Mag the full set of the thingies? Well, th this already helps a lot. I'm not sure if it also helps against the barbecue. It's worth a try because my the, the sizzling meter goes up really slowly right now. It was pretty good. I got... Uh... Oh no. We're about to run out of shadow. I don't need no uh, shadow. I have a sombrero. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Mildly racist. Another one! <laughs> wow. Oh. You're doing some of that generalized studying again. Yeah. Uh, guys, help. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I need some assistance. I'll distract it while you guys get them out. I also thought I saw something oh, yeah. shiny along the edge here, but There's maybe I was wrong. I'm going to distract it by getting killed. Oh, God. Oh, God. I not only got killed, but I aggroed another one. Oh my one. god, there are two. Okay, we got two. That's fine. Let's deal with them. Out. Which one first? The one with this, the one I'm hitting right now. Alright, thank you. Ah! Ow. Okay, there's one. Thank you. So over the weekend, on Saturday, we, we had a game of Dawn of War. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. And uh, on one game, two separate players attacked me and knocked the absolute piss out of me. <laughs> I, I got my ass handed to me yeah. in the Dawn of War game. And and both times, both players had me on the ropes, beating the crap out of me. And then all of a sudden, they were backdoored at their own base and got killed. And it's only through sheer dumb fucking luck that I survived to the end of the game. So I just got completely... I was a, I was a ragdoll for the entire... You were so game. quiet as well, concentrating on I, actually playing the game to I the max. I can't yeah. narrate and play Dwarf yeah. War at the same time. No. I'm not smart enough. <laughs> like, I need to go drink. Yeah. Uh, how do I get it? I don't have any more tufts, yeah. I think. I, I have one left. You might have to pick me up when I hit the ground. Thank you. Yep. Oh god, I'm Shall not gonna be... Ah! Hey, Keter, hang Catch in there. My You're gonna be okay. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> it smells like 50 zombies <laughs> up their gym shorts and them in this pipe. Pick me up, you Whoa. bastards. I, I was wondering where I put my gym shorts. Thank you. Uh... Uh, collective <laughs> abuse. <laughs> yeah. Right, back to the base we go. Keep your yeah, eyes yeah, peeled yeah. for the little food things to slay on the way. We are the moisture flings. Very really moist. Is, is are we? Really? Oh, that's a bomb in here. We, we should bring some health potions next time we go there. Yes, I bought like three, but we need more. Yeah, I have two heal bars for the boss mages. Yeah. I brought some too, but apparently drinking a smoothie doesn't count as drinking. Oh, really? Yeah. That's... It might depend on what base it's got. Maybe. So I'm going to need to level two shovel as well, apparently, for the uh, treasure in the sand pit. Okay. Let's see if we can build I've that. I've got one which I've been using. I think it's black ant parts. Oh, that's, that will be easy then. Black ant parts, not red ants. Oh, we killed a whole bunch last time now, didn't we? We yeah, have quite I, a bit I, of yeah, parts, I think. Oh, it depends on the type of part, obviously, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, 
Oh, that's it. You've been Soldier. Gloved. <laughs> there we go. Can't spot it. Oh no, I've been rubber gloved. We rubber gloved. Yeah, when the when the uh, the noises that the soldier ants make sound like someone stretching. Oh yeah, 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 they actually do. Thank you, Maditus. Thank you very much, Maditus. Oh, guys, so, sorry, sorry to like talk like um um current events. Did uh -huh. you guys see the fucking trailer for Gladiator Two? No. Oh, so Does it have Russell Crowe again or? <laughs> no, it's so bad. Uh, that is. So that was my thing when I heard that is, how is there a Gladiator 2? Yeah, but it's so bad because the trailer, you expect like Gladiator. You, you, so what's the name of the composer for Gladiator? Hmm. It's all orchestral and, you know, what's his name again? It was a really good movie. Basically, they, de they decided to add... Zimmer? Is it Han Hans Zimmer? Was it Zimmer? I think so. You know, you know what I mean, though. Sorry, I got to run him loud. I have no, I have no help. I mean, it's either Zimmer or the other guy. So... Yeah. But in this trailer, they decided to do that modern trailer, like Marvel thing, where they make a remix of like, is it like a rap song or something? Oh, I hate it so much. And it's like, oh. Also, the issue with nowadays trailers is if you've seen the trailer, you've seen basically all the highlights and of the movie. That. And, and that. that. Yeah, I hate oh, it. Let me tell you. So I have a gift card for the cinema, right? Uh-huh. Which I got from doing some volunteer work or whatever. And I thought, oh, I have enough to... to, to have two tickets, you know, so I'll bring I'll bring Q along when I go to the cinema uh -huh. uh, in like end of August, early September. So I just I looked at the movies that are going to be on, and I looked, and there's a Borderlands film. Yes. And and I was like, so do you want to go watch That's the clean. Borderlands film? And he had like a ten minute back and forth of like, oh, it's going to be so bad. Oh, but I kind of want to see it. Oh, <laughs> but it's going to be so bad. It's probably going to be awful, and none of the actors have probably even played the game. Oh, but I'm kind of intrigued. <laughs> like he had this whole ten minute thing of like, do I or do I not go and see this film? <laughs> so how many characters is Chris Pratt playing? <laughs> I have no idea. Is the rock one more beef first, by the way? Uh, I might. Uh, hang on. But isn't it like uh, what's his face uh, who plays Claptrap? Uh... Um. <laughs> it's just it's Jack Jack first... Black. Oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> you're kidding. You're joking. <laughs> Jack Black like, plays Claptrap. It's gonna be so bad. It's yeah, gonna be just... good. Why not just have the original the guy voice actor? Yeah. Or didn't he have the fallen out with the things of a He did Bowser as well in the Mario movie, I think. Yeah. Apparently he was good in that, though. Do you have a beef first or not? Uh, no, sorry. I think I deposited it earlier. Okay. Oh, I do. To be honest, right. it's, it's better than where my mind went. Oh, God, we're being raided. Raided? Oh, no. Black like and raid. Fuck okay, I'm time to get to the turret. Yeah. What do What do we need? Uh, turret juice. <laughs> I don't fucking know. We need. <laughs> Hang on. What do we need for the turrets? Uh, damage resist. Uh, rock ammo. <clears throat> oh, rock, black ammo. Well, I, I have I have no yeah. help either whatsoever. What, by the way. Yeah. We're already here, okay. so help. I've got pellets. Yeah. On the way. You are helpless. Come away! Oh, this is not good. Please help! Oh, they're big. What the fuck? Let me help, Willow. Oh, I don't have any. Well, that was a near death experience. Again, I would like to report a bug. Haha, <laughs> bug. <laughs> Bugs. Black. I get it. Black ants don't have a soldier cast. Oh, for fuck's sake. They're a mono whatever. They're, 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 there's only one type nerd! of ant. Oh, Pete, oh, Pete, stop being a nerd. <laughs> See, you defended them with boring facts. Yeah. Pete, <laughs> Pete is like the little guy going, actually. I, I've got actually. these ones in my ant farm. <laughs> well, no wonder there's so few of them. Yeah. Fuckers won't lay eggs. 
Right, well, we've got ammo for next time. Tastes good. Right. Um, hang on. Okay, I need to repair my armor if that's okay. I need bee fuzz. Yeah, let's go get some because I need it as well for the uh, for the final part. Back yeah. to the picnic table. Yeah, back to the picnic table. Uh, okay, hang on. I'm with you. I just need to make some healing. Where's the algae from for the healing? Uh, from the pond. What? Just, uh, Where? Grab it anywhere under the under the under the sea. Hang on. Just grab some of that before we go. Better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Algae, algae. Hmm. Uh, any hmm. idea what it looks like? It's uh, uh, it like, like algae. algae. F yeah, fuzzy clumps. You forgot your floaties. Floaties? You know, your little arm floats. Oh, those things. Oh, fuck. Ah, I think I found some. I have a cum nugget. A cum nugget. A gum nugget. Oh, I totally <laughs> misheard that. Yeah, I, I totally mispronounced <laughs> it intentionally as well. Uh, really? Uh, really? Yeah. Is this it? We are sophisticated entertainment. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Sure. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Oh fuck, I forgot the pond was the attack of the fucking water spiders. Mm. God, it's millions! Do, 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 do. Uh, hang on. There we go. Uh, mushrooms and algae. I'm gonna go out and get more mushrooms. Mushroom. But yeah, what else have you guys been up to? What can we talk about? What's the Ant Queen Scepter for? Uh, good, good question. Wish we fucking knew. Um. What did I do? Oh, uh, me and my mum have been doing a 5,000 piece puzzle. <laughs> a 5,000 piece puzzle? Yes. What, what is on the puzzle? What is the puzzle on? Um, so it White. is a bookstore with a bike in front of it and then lots of flowers like above the bookstore window and on the bike and stuff. Mm. Yeah, and then it's got like flags hanging over the top of the window so it's it's got a lot of like different different things on it but oh. a lot loads of different colors but we did spend a good weekend looking at like pieces going is this that pink flower or this pink flower bush well which one's which hmm. so you do have a flag yeah the flags were a bit easier because they had like um fabric texture to them so it was very easy to see which pieces belong to the flags yeah i i read in a book and this is it was weird but it was what gave me the idea to do the puzzle but i read in a book that like if people actually believe that they can succeed at something they don't actually mind that it's super difficult like Rarely do you ever see somebody sit down with a jigsaw puzzle and then break down and cry because they can't <laughs> figure it out in the first five minutes. Yeah. But in a lot of other Clearly situations... Clearly you haven't seen me do that. <laughs> but in a lot of other situations, because you don't know whether or not you will succeed, you you get really disheartened really easily. But you know that you will succeed if you have a brand new jigsaw puzzle, and so you just, you just don't give up normally. Mm. So... Well, I mean, you might do if you find it boring, but not because you think it's too difficult. Yeah. Um, so, so extremely tangentially related, 
Uh, I was reading this book uh, a few weeks ago, and I'm still thumbing my way through it to, to make some notes for the sake of a video that I'm making. And it's mm -hmm. called The Holographic Universe. It's a book from the 90s, right? Right. Yeah. And it, it, it's got some fucking weird, like, shit in here, like, guys. And, and one of the weird things I want to point out is the fact that the author points out all of these examples of, of times where people who have believed in something, right? have made it happen like wishful thinking sort of thing yeah and um he like lists some dude who like believed that he was uh, free of cancer and he was like that's sort of <laughs> anyway but um what the, the 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 thing that really takes the cake is the fact that the author his name is michael talbot and you can google him um what the fuck the author uh, died like two years later of of some like curable disease that apparently I, I was like oh I guess he didn't believe hard enough then you yeah know, is it, is it, <laughs> it sounds really dark but it's like okay that sort of puts a major dampener on on the contents of that chapter yeah kind of kind of makes your book uh, not as believable <laughs> as it used to be <laughs> like if it works why didn't it work for you the water filtration tablets needed right, we need to build the oven as well to get yeah. more upgrades. It's dumb, but at least he's stuck by his principles rather than <laughs> one of those that just like, oh yeah, do do this homeopathy, have this what it, MMS, and then they don't do it themselves. Yeah. So it, it's it's, it's one of these books where I, I so it it's a sort of it's a principle in physics or like it's an idea, but it feels like the book runs with it into woo. Mm. I don't know what to think. I'm going to be honest. I don't I don't know what to think about the book. The land of quantum physics, where because we don't understand it, anything goes. Yeah, I, it's just sometimes you read a book that's either like super weird or super good that just makes you reconsider everything. <laughs> yeah, it's a super um, weird book. I mean, I've I, talked uh, about it when we played before. I um, took part in, or rather, my class when I was quite a bit younger. I think I must have been eighteen or nineteen. Uh, we took part in um, like a youth uh, critics thing where we were given eight books and then we had to pick whichever one we liked the most. Mm -hmm. Which is why I never trust any of these stamps anymore that say like, you know, youth critics prize 20 something <laughs> because, because they gave us eight books. And then we just had to pick the one we hated the least. Like, wow. these, oh, really? these books were so like, they, they were for adults, right? So so for a teenager, they weren't very relevant. Like, I'm sure they were beautiful books, but they were not for teenagers. Like, mm. uh, there was one that was full of, like, poems with, like, historical hidden references, mm. which I'm sure is really, like, rewarding to read if you actually know anything of what's going on. But if, you, if you're reading poetry and you have to Google every second word, then it's yeah. kind of... It kind of just is pointless, right? Like you have to spend the whole time on Google instead of enjoying poetry. Um, there was this entire book about a woman who works for like some delivery service. And the entire book is just a description of how boring and like <laughs> meaningless her life is. <laughs> and and nothing changes throughout the book. It's just a book about how meaningless <laughs> her life is. And oh, you're man. just the, the the whole point of the book is to just remain in that feeling of how meaningless it all is. And we oh, were just like sake. Please, for the love of God, give us a book with a narrative. <laughs> Take <Thank> your you. mates. <laughs> yeah, thank you for this uh, enlightening uh book, yeah. Nothing really matters. And then you finish the book and you go like what the, why the fuck did I read this? Oh God! I, yeah, I like, mm -hmm. yeah. So some of them were okay. The book that I enjoyed the most, or hated the least, or whatever you want, was like a bunch of poetry written by like um, a Sami author, which was quite interesting because it talked about like nature and like being on the open like landscape as part of like being of the Sami culture and stuff. Like that was interesting. Is it a book I would have ever bought for myself? Absolutely not. <laughs> but yeah. So so basically we there was no surprise on the book that won because it was literally the only book out of 
the eight that was specifically written for teenagers. So that one won, obviously. Who would have thunk it? I've got that book, that book in my fishing gear that I'm trying to read steadily. Um, and God, it's awful. Which um, link? I, I made a promise to someone that I would read it. And so I'm trying to read it, but it's 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 a book that's been written by Grandpa Simpson. It, it's a book about these the Canadian Mounted Police in like the 19th century. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah I've mentioned, mentioned it before. before. And when I say like it's it, it's it's basically like a report. It goes down. It talks about oh, and then the men they went down into the Arctic. I swear, to God, this is just your grandpa taking the piss yeah. at you as a last. Yeah. Uh, last uh, I'm, I'm gonna. Gonna then, make his life miserable for a bit. <laughs> then they went into the mountain pass, but it was difficult, and the horses had to eat uh, like oats for a while. And we bought a canoe, and then we met some Indians, and then we uh, the Indians were upset because the white men were hunting all of their game, and they demanded that a ten dollar surcharge uh, be given. And then we sold the canoe. It's it's like that. Yeah, it's really endless boring. drivel. It's really uh, what? So, what kind of book recommendation was this? So, okay, so it's going to sound really, really bad. I, I'm, I'm just going to speak the truth. I, it was a promise I that I made to my granddad, right? No joke. Yeah. Now, when I was a teenager, so I, it, was, it was the granddad I don't really know. Are we sleeping? I'm so, not at the base. I can go there, but... So it was on my father's side, right? I don't really know the father's side of the family. We, we sort of split up years and years ago mm -hmm. when I was a kid. Anyway, but it was his, it was my father's father, and I don't even know his name. Anyway, for some reason, we were in his house one day, and we were browsing through the bookcase, and I think I just looked at this book because it had a, co a cool-ish looking cover of a bunch of guys in uniform standing there with the mounted police. Anyway, I can't remember the exact conversation, but somehow he made me promise. He gave me the book and made me promise to read it. Yeah. <laughs> He know how boring it was. He knew. Yeah. He must have known. Anyway, what happened was, so the, the, the book ended up in my bookcase as a teenager in my room, and eventually it just gathered dust and I forgot about it, and then eventually it must have gotten thrown out at some point. So, whoops. Um, but then I, I've remembered that promise, and as I was entering my 30s, I realized, you know what, I still have that promise to read that book. I couldn't remember its title, but I remembered that cover. And how many books could there be about the Canadian Mounted Police? So I went and Googled it, found it within like five minutes. I found the exact book. That's it. That's the one. Only I one person ever wrote a book about it. Hmm. So I found a used copy. I had it shipped for, from overseas. And that's what's in my fishing gear. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to read through it as the promise. But no joke, it's so dry. It's so... <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I had that thing where... So I had a, a period of my life when I was... Um going to a lot of like events like a lot of summer camps a lot of meetings i was volunteering went to a italy for a refugee conference etc etc and i got a book recommendation by a friend of mine he recommended me to read the necronomicon <laughs> and I'm so, sorry, what? <laughs> and, <laughs> and you know me being at the time my very cheerful yes Self, I yeah. went and I got Thank you, Tamre. Thank you for the tier three. And it collected dust for like yeah. ten years because you've it was. Seen, it, you've seen the Night of the Living Dead, right? You don't do it that was just, shit. It was just not my vibe, and it was a very large book. Like Kaliba! it was large enough to <laughs> kill Kaliba! somebody with. Um, but anyway, so I decided at some point I was like, Did okay. you just hear that the Necronomicon has been <laughs> to be to kill someone with? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Um. I think so... that's the least of your worries in killing people with it. <laughs> Please read this verse on the Indian burial ground. Thank yeah. you very much, Swash. Yeah. And thank yeah, you, no, So I finally decided, I was like, probably went no more. Wanted. No more carrying around this book. No more bringing it from, you know, like, uh, flat to flat. Like, tonight? or maybe I'll potentially read it one day. Because I'm like, if I wake up a random Tuesday and I'm like, now is the time to read the Necronomicon. <laughs> I'll just go to the library, you know? So I brought it to work with me, and uh, the people at work are all a bunch of nerds of different varieties. And uh -huh. I, I put a, um, quite a few books in a pile, and I said, just take them. If you want them, just take them, you know? And uh, one of my co-workers, like, you should have seen the look on his face. He was so excited because he, he was like apparently a really big like Lovecraftian fan, and he already had like the the singular versions of the book, and this was like a collected like all of the books in one book, and it, it just yeah. I'm I'm glad it made somebody else happy because uh -huh. 
I, I was just, more worried that you were not my vibe. I was worried you were going to say you just left it in an apartment. <laughs> Emma, what, what do you do if you Dr. move Lack into an apartment and the previous tenant has left the Necronomicon? No, I would I would put it behind a drywall or something, you know? So, yeah. my pre the previous people who lived here didn't exactly leave a Necronomicon, but I keep finding tiny rubber duckies with words on the underneath them. So I'm what assuming... kind of words? Kill me! No, no, <laughs> but, look behind but, yeah. Hang on, let me get the two that I still have. Let me go and get them so I can read what's oh, like, what going on. Drink, drink them because uh, they're going to be good. Uh, be right back. Uh, do, you, do you guys mind if I use uh, to fix my armor with the uh, berry leather and the uh, bee stuff? Only if you get more. Uh, Here's the berry leather, it's fine. Oh, we're out of berry leather. If we, if we, if we need more, then we uh, go get more. Okay, I need to go get more in the morning. To be honest, I've been enabling people to do such things. Because I gave a, a friend of mine, I gifted them 100 rubber BBs. Inch size rubber BBs. Rubber what, sorry? BBs. Babies? Yes. I can feel right, so... Explain. It, it, came, it just came up on the suggestions while I was looking at gifts. So they now have 100 tiny rubber babies to spread across the, the town. All right. All right, so I've got two two small rub duckies. One of them says, hi, exclamation mark, uh -huh. underneath. And the other one says, about us, question mark. <laughs> so I have no idea what this hmm. was. Like, it, it was probably some kind of, like, it could have been, like, a prank, or it could have been, like, a, lo a like a loving message, or maybe a hateful message. I have no clue. Yeah, did you not, like, collect them all together to see what they, they mean? Well, I'm assuming they took most of them with them when they moved, but these ones must have, like, like, they had probably fallen behind somewhere or something, and then when I started, like, living here, I ended up finding them. But what's weird to me is that they are written in English. <laughs> like... They predicted Joe. Yeah, uh. they predicted Joe. <laughs> Just have a rubber ducky that says, Hi! <laughs> I watch you when you sleep! Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. But, yeah, no, no Jesus was... didn't write them. <laughs> Q, Q will also like talk in his sleep, but he will like. I have to make a hundred percent sure that he's awake, because I'll call him to be like, "Hello, it's time for you to stream," and he'll be like, "Just let me sleep a bit longer, please." And I'll be like, "Is this sleepy you talking, or is this the real you talking?" And I'm like, "Please, just let me sleep a bit longer." And I'm like, "Okay, I'll call you in an hour," and then I'll call him an hour later, and Aww. he'll be like. What do you mean? I never said those things. I'm like, <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, I've mastered that as well. And I can have full-blown conversations with people just to make, get them to go away. And then, if he's if he's too tired, he he becomes rude. And I, I it's it's <laughs> funny, but it's just like like the other day I was calling him to wake him up, and I just went, "Hey, BB." Time to wake up, and he just hung up. <laughs> <laughs> and I was I like, he didn't even realize because when I called back, he was like, "What?" <laughs> you... But in in the tired state, he was like, high pitched lady's voice. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Can't handle this right now. <laughs> if if you ever live together, you got to punish him for this, like with pots and pans in the morning to wake him up. Like just, oh yeah. Yeah, make, just be a total nightmare. I don't get in the to morning. sleep because of y'all. <laughs> you don't get to sleep because of me. <laughs> So I still have one book here on my uh, to read uh, list, which is House of Leaves. So apparently, and I, I'm, this is based on something I found on the internet. It's it's a, it's a book printed in all kinds of different fonts and and stuff upside down. Uh -huh. It's about a house that's slightly bigger on the inside than it is on the outside, and so apparently it gets really really weird as you read it and all kinds of subcontext. So I, I just had to order it and see if I could read that. But it's supposedly a really Tricky book to read, but it's uh, it, I've, I've flipped through it and it looks really interesting. What is it called? House of Leaves. Uh, not a pickle for the knowing one. The what? You heard me. 
<laughs> I'm I'm really looking like I'm kind of looking forward to but also kind of dreading. I'm going to read the book called S by Doug Dorst and JJ Abrams. Um oh, no. <laughs> cuz and it's so difficult because it's like a narrative on top of a narrative on top of a narrative. Oh, don't read a book by JJ Abrams. Yeah, that's my thing. It's he's an it's, idiot. Yeah, it's it's full of his mystery box that you will yeah. never get to see because there's nothing inside it. I'm flipping through this book, House of Leaves. So one of them just has a, a, a diagonal A on it, on one page. It's, it's, it's a weird book, so there's all kinds of subcontext in it. So I'm wondering if I can actually read this book uh, in any comfortable way. It's so weird. The also, subcontext of this page is that we needed to reach a quarter. No, but there's, there's all kinds of text written in red as well and, 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 uh, and striped Not through. Not red. So it's so it's, no, it's so weird. It's such a weird book. I just need to read this. I know the person in chat that said, I wonder what book he copied to write it was joking, but for real, it's so the, so S is a narrative. The, the actual book itself is Ship of Theseus, which none of them wrote. Um, but then there's a second narrative being told basically by like written notes in the margins. So it's like, there's the main story, which is Ship of Theseus. And then there's like, um, it's not actually written in pen, but you get what I mean. Like in the margins, yeah. it looks like there's written in pen, and then there's like loads of items stuffed into it. So it's basically like one of those puzzle books. Like oh, there's postcard, there's a napkin in there that has like writing on it. So it's it's basically kind of like a if a movie and a book had a baby. I don't know, oh. or or a board game and a book. I guess you could say. Um, so basically, the narrative kind of unfolds, and it's. It's made to be as if it was a library book that some people have borrowed and then started, like, writing in, basically. But, uh, I mean, I've heard decent things about it, but the thing is, how do you attack something like that? Like, do you start by reading The Ship of Theseus? Do you try and read all three narratives at the same time? Like, how, how do you even do that? Mm. It's likely a book you not, don't read once, but twice or three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, honestly, just reading the main narrative, Ship of Theseus, is going to be quite interesting because it is obviously a story that people quote a lot um, without ever having read the whole story. So... But yeah, it's it's like... I don't know. Thank without without direct matter. comparison, it feels a little bit like going into Act Three of uh, Baldur's Gate. Like, piece. which direction do you go in? <laughs> Straight to uh -huh. the brothel. That's beside yeah, the yeah. point. But <laughs> that's not how you finish the game, right? Going straight to the brothel. So that's finish. what you think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I forgot who I was talking to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate that. Although I think, in, in Baldur's Gate, was I the only character that didn't get laid? I'm trying to remember. He may well have been. I think Quebec, Quebec and Digby, Digby both got laid. Did Dodge get laid or did he just get whipped by a uh, suspicious man? Can't remember. Suspicious man. Fucking Withers, like he called me maidenless. Crusty, That's Elden crusty Ring. bastard. That's Elden Ring. No, no, um, Withers. Is it Withers? Yeah, with us. Yeah, yeah. Am I right? I'm surprised you didn't have a bigger reaction to the post-credit cutscene, knowing you, with your deep law nerd. Uh, I don't really know D and D that well. What the 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 one where he just slags off the gods of death or whatever, or the dead three. Yeah, where he gives it. A... I don't want to see because it's a spoiler of all those games. Yeah, I suppose. It wasn't that. Should we momentous, was it? sleep? Uh, I'm a bit far yeah, from right. base, sorry. Check, 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 your, uh, check your chat. Okay. I post the link. That's, that's a, uh, a picture of one of the pages in the book, just a random one. Uh, I see. It's all kind. Of, it's all kinds of those those weird things. Yeah. So, so, so supposedly it's a really mysterious book. It's a big mind fuck. So I'll, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to and read, read that. It that way. I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't I... looked too much into it. I'm gonna I try it. Don't have the patience There's, for like, that. There's like chemical <laughs> chemical combination and like. I just I just looked up the uh, that book House of Leaves. Mm -hmm. Here's here's the image result for it.
Oh, for fuck, fuck you, Umlaut. <laughs> fucking, you fucking piece of shit. I'm not, I, links. I, I, I don't click Umlaut links. That's, that's Absolute the I motherfucker. Do. I don't click Umlaut links. Okay. I, I love that. I love that the link has think. surprise in it. And you just... Yeah. <laughs> you're such a cunt. <laughs> You're the kind of guy. Uh, you're you you like words. You're the kind of guy who would post like tub girl or some shock image or something back in the day. Goatsy man, goatsy. Goatsy, yeah. Uh... Yeah, so I'm a bit I, far, I don't, too far I don't, face. Yeah, I don't click on my links. It does, don't, just don't do it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go down into the pond then and get some more clay for the oven that we need. I thought we were sleeping. No, it's all, sorry, it's too far away. All right. Running back now. Also. Half the fun comes from the fact that I never change the link and people still fall for it. <sighs> like, I remember that link! <sighs> it has surprise in it. <sighs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember what when it was. I think it was your stream I did it on where I turned you into a numbers station. Me? No, a Womble. Oh. Turn me into a what? I, numbers station. What is that? I just started spelling out the URL and people put it yeah, in going, ooh, what's this? <laughs> and it was the piece. <laughs> of course it was. And oh, I'm yeah, I, I watched a video on like I different bet. varieties of Danish pizza and it was so uh, interesting. Put like uh, actual lettuce on top of the pizza. Yeah, but nobody likes Danish. Did he just say tiny pizza's ready for, ready for a tiny rest? Did he actually say that? <laughs> I can't be the only one feeling tired. Time to hit the hay. Wumble, you've got your own room. Go upstairs. Hang on. That is a very grey belly. Yeah. Oh yeah, changing changing like the desktop uh, picture. I. I don't remember what did I change it to. I think so for Q's account on my computer, I changed it to the photo that he made of us when we were flying the helicopter in Mike Force, which is a Enigma. fairly, fairly like innocent Enigma. little pranky thing. Enigma. Yup. That fucking hell that had me dying. <laughs> Enigma. An, an hour of Q just going Enigma. <laughs> oh, I wish I would have saved the stream. Yeah. Wumble, yeah. go upstairs. No, I'm sleeping here. No, you've got your own room upstairs. Oh, sleep. There's two, right. two out of four. Everybody's here. Come on, sleep. My own room. Wumble shit. Oh, yeah, I got my own room. All right, sleeping now. It doesn't say shit. It censored it. You can well, enjoy Rolf ready. in the corner. There we go. There we go. Do you, do you oh. like Rolf in the corner there? Rolf in the corner? <laughs> yeah, look at the corner of your room. Oh, oh yeah, no, that was Christ. it. I, uh, I put a question mark button on the stream deck. And then if you press the question mark button, you got Rick rolled. <laughs> no. Surprisingly not terrible. <laughs> right, we need uh, two more ever charcoal chunks. Clean. And then we have an oven. Okay. We've already got an oven. Wait, we have, hold on, where is it? Yeah, it's upstairs. Wait, oh, oh, there, okay. Uh, okay. It doesn't register on the... Okay, never mind. I'll, okay. I'll cancel that one then. I'm going to go get it. some berry leather. Yeah, I didn't see it on the crafting bench. Do you need support or are you going to be uh, fine? Should be okay. Do you need support? I'd like to punch a bunch of spiders. Okay, How do what? you get the... The web, the fiber sure, web? But... Fiber. The web mm. fiber. Do you just punch, punch a yeah. web? Kill oh, fuck, it takes forever to Either cut the up webs, punch webs, or just kill a spider. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna run over Ooh. to the. Uh, oh, and there's a wolf spider on, uh, approaching. Two wolf spiders. Oh, well, that's great. At the base? Uh, no, thank you. South of the base. Patrolling. You're joking. Does someone. Ha does someone eat all the red ant mandibles? Mm. I don't know. Uh, I don't have them. I have a whole bunch of seaweed, though. What are they used it. for? For repairing my uh, the ant club. Anything else? 
I, I don't know. Hmm. Do we get them from red soldiers? They're really yeah. close by, so. Can't see who would have used them though, because we don't use them for the red ant like um, armor. I blame Mag. Is it used me. for any smoothies that somebody might have? That's not blame Mag. Just blame me. I got three clay if you want it. Oh, it's uh, used for the workers comp. Did somebody make a whole bunch of workers comp? Uh, I don't or think liquid so. rage. I made one liquid rage. One. There it was, Mag. See, told you. But it's, uh, it it just like one part, I think. <laughs> it was you, clearly. Thank you, Tamo Lu. Thank you very much, Tamo. I see. Have better arrow stacks. Big appreciation. Oh, nice. We still need feathers if that silly bird can come visit. Home. Okay, just running to the hedge to go get some berry leather, then I'll be right back. There will be many spiders there, of course. No, I will survive because I am Tiny Pete. <sighs> and Tiny Pete doesn't the pull out. conditions of your survival rely on your size and name. Mm -hmm. I have a dog that is shamelessly lying with her belly up here. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I, mean, I need to pet that. Hold on, give me a sec. Yeah. Is, uh, is Ceci on stream? Yes! Hang on. Hang on, chat, we've got a, li got a link. Is that her tail? We can hear her tail. Yeah, that is her tail. Hang on. I'm pushing the uh, green deck uh, pedal down, so I can keep talking. Keep going, I'm just going to link your stream. Oh, look. <laughs> look at their belly. Just a happy, happy meter over here. <laughs> Oh, she's cute. Oh God! So it begins again. What begins? The ant, ant Mageddon. A raid? Oh shit! Ant Mageddon. Ouch! Oh, are we are we having an ant uh, raid? No, you not remember the last time I went to the until rant parts. Oh yeah, 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 they got really angry over it. And I, I recreated the of them. doom. I recreated the doom uh, oh. title screen with nothing but me and ants. Alright, never mind what I said. I'm gonna get killed. Hang on. What are you doing? Berry leather? Uh, yeah, I tried to, but I just got jumped by mosquitoes. There's so much gathering in the game, like so much. I've already burned through half of the damn healing things that I just. Yeah, it, it is very grindy on grindy, uh, very keep, grindy. keeping your uh, resources up. Also, without any form of fast travel to move around. It feels uh, a bit padded on the uh, how lengthy it is on keeping your resources. Hmm. This is some stuff. Yeah, I, I, I do have to say that it's a, a good case. <laughs> Apparently, if you get your high level, high tier gear, you can just upgrade it with one specific item rather than to have it, uh, get all the resources again. Hmm. Yeah, but there's more people that have uh, 
shown some concerns on the internet about the whole grindiness of uh, keeping your gear kind of in shape that is very mm, yeah grindy and tedious okay i'm just gonna run back i'll never survive maybe i should take um like some backup leaf armor when my main armor goes down yeah Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm making uh, mighty globs in the oven so I can upgrade my uh, club to the latest tier, I think. The last one. Uh, yes, uh, but, but the, the bandages seem a bit naff. Yeah. Was there is there an auto run? Uh, well, there was, wasn't there? What's the auto run key? Oh, hi, Cake. Hello. Is it Numlock? Numlock. I don't know. That's what it normally is. I think. I don't know. Okay, hang on. Just gonna go back to the base and then P. I've also got one last beer and I've budgeted calories today, so I'm allowed to have it. Oh, you're cut. You're counting now. Well, I've got the fucking fat. I need to. Yeah. Not... yeah, yeah. <sighs> well, what works really well for me is just skipping a meal, make sure there's more than eight hours in between two meals. Because you start burning fat then, and that, that keeps me relatively well in shape and not fat. Hmm. Oh, I would get so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can I can uh, function perfectly well on uh, on even one meal or no meal a day. Hello, Back in a second. Yeah, but you're Dutch. You've mainly subsist on spite. Uh huh. Spite and uh, complaining. Yep. Yeah, I mean. I think I probably could have, like, survived on fewer meals before I got, like, poor health. But now that I'm in, like, recovery, I need to be quite mindful of, like, hmm. better to make sure that I get all the nutrients I need than to try and change up stuff. Right, I got a level 6 ant club now. It looks exactly the same. That's a bit disappointing. I was expecting some something like flames are coming uh, coming out of it. What, what did you upgrade it with, though? Uh, the uh, sturdy stuff. The, uh, uh, the mighty. I think the mighty, that's... yeah. F finale damage. Yeah. I think that is just general damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the picket I need some beefers. <laughs> what even is this outfit? Oh. <laughs> Do you not like your the mission? I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> what outfit? Don't be free. Got the poncho. Uh, oh, oh, oh the, uh, the, have you used the parts? The Did you turn parts? into a wolf there? Oh. They use yeah, the end line I, parts? I used the parts. I'm not, still okay. missing the shoe bits, but... Yeah, that's... Yeah, okay. I was gonna get some beefers, but then I can't build it anymore. We still need beefers. Yeah, yeah, but uh, we need the beefers to even build the shoes now. So, uh, do, we, do we still have enough end line parts to build the shoes? Uh, Does it need them? Hang on. 
Um, Otherwise, we're going to have to find some more. So, sorry, riddle me this. Sorry to inter interrupt your question. Why does it say that my bow is damaged, but I can't seem to repair it? Uh, uh, you mean luck? Yeah, we need uh, we need pincers. Antlion pincers. Yeah. That's my bad. I thought you did it as soon as you got back. No, uh, because I need a beef us. Uh, I see. So we need to... Anyway, sh shall we do a main quest item in the meantime? So to progress the wasn't, story a little bit. Wasn't that you what we were struggling with, though? Also, it works yeah, perfectly no. fine. Okay. Also, you've seen to have two. Oh, yeah. What's that? Yeah. Where is it, though? Oh, Check I see. Hands. I'm stupid. Yes, you are. Right, sorry, it's in that. Uh, I'm not looking at the correct slot. Thank you. Um, sh so yeah, did you say like go advance the story? Um, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, did uh, we not main, try main that though? Was that not where we struggled? Where am I remembering it wrong? Yeah, we couldn't get past the barbecue. We were still trying to work it out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's what, what, what was why we we're gonna get the poncho stuff. So we need more uh, mendable parts, more yep. airline stuff. Yeah, and we could, or we could always build. That was build. What build do you mean build? Wall. Build some stairs or something. Just build around it. Go, Go. up the wall. True. Mm. Yeah, we could just build around it. Yeah, let's um, do that then. Uh, one minute. Sorry, I'm just trying to... um, Because I'm back to my tier 1 armor because I don't have the berry leather or the bee fuzz to repair my existing bee armor. I can come with you to grab some stuff. Yeah, would you mind? Berry yeah, leather run? Yeah, let's go. Let's we'll do that. All right. We're I'll going be on a berry on the lookout run. for bees when it's morning. Yeah. I just need to get some more feather arrows as well. I, I deposited a few arrows in here. Three of or something. What are you but... doing, uh, Kiki? You're being aware. Yes. Oh. Uh... Oh. Should we sleep till the morning before you guys go over yeah, to sure. the ferry? Yeah, sure. can do. I've already left. <laughs> okay, oh. then we leave. You should really bring a sleeping bag with you. <laughs> a sleeping bag? That's nonsense. Okay. So, where were the berries? This way, right? Yeah. Bit of a long journey this way. Unless the wolf spider's still there, in which case we don't go this way. But yeah. Um, Just double check. Did you bring any healing items? I yes, I've got items. two and I got okay. twelve bandages. Cool. I got five uh, drinks as well. Cool. Just, just checking. I used all the uh, red amendables for that. Mhm. Mm ah <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh dear. Um. So yeah, if um, if uh, this bungalow thing goes ahead, the first thing I need to do is I need to bring in some people to do an insect spray, mm -hmm. oh, and also change the locks as well. The termite uh, thingy. Uh, yeah, there's like a woodworm thing in some of the rafters oh, yeah, yeah. in the loft. Yeah. But the locks are really easy. They're, they're just cylindrical things that you can just remove one screw and put a new one in. That that's the easy part. The what? Sorry. So so usually for the uh, for the cylinder that the uh, locker goes into to change those. That's really easy. The locker? You no, you said you need to change the locks. Oh, the locks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah just one screw and re replace the cylinder of the of the key. Yeah. Are you going to have a bunch of parties? Like house parties? Uh, yeah. You know what? I, I might be incredibly sad, but no. Like, this is... I, I, d d mm, forgive me for sounding, like, difficult. What's going to happen? I know exactly what's going to happen. Is that lots of people, particularly my mother, are going to start suggesting all of these things. Like, oh coffee tables and like extra <laughs> chairs and like things for guests you know but I, I'm of the mindset no this is going to be my castle this is going to be like uh -huh. the whole you know picture of the dude with his gaming chair next to a toilet and a, and a, a fridge full of beer yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this is where one guy is going to live you know I, I don't want to be uh -huh. I, 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 I don't, don't, don't want to be I don't want to be against your idea mm -hmm. but you know like Bilbo the Hobbit was also Pretty much, kind of against guests, but he still made his home cozy. <laughs> yeah, I have, a, I have a cozy but, house. But I, I, I think it's going to be easy to fill it with crap that I don't care about. Like yeah, sure. IKEA shit. A little bit of furniture and some nice decoration, that kind of stuff. 
I, I'd rather no, but, like live but don't overdo it. within it, my means, you know? It sounds like Rumble is planning to be one of those Reddit memes that are like, men really live like this and think it's yeah. okay. Like, it's going to be the TV on the floor. There's going to be a camping <laughs> or like technically a fishing chair instead of yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of a sofa. You know, and then when whenever he goes fishing, he'll just pack his uh, sofa chair up together and go outside. Like that, that's gonna be it, basically. Uh huh. Um, am I am I wrong? <laughs> no, no, you're not wrong. Hundred percent. I mean, there's, there, off, there is read nothing my wrong book, yeah. with living like that if that's truly, truly deep down what you feel joyful about. But if it's just. Or I can't be asked to go shopping well, for interesting things, and that's yeah. a different story. It's, it's I'm not than... saying that relates to you, but mm. it's more that I do not wish to get forced, um, to, uh, like pressured into buying crap that I don't oh, care no, about. Oh no, get, get stuff that you really like yourself. The, yeah. the, the, yeah. this is your place, decorated like like, like you want it. Yeah. I, I'm never, for example, buying a coffee table. If you ever throw a barbecue, I'm going to find the ugliest little cabinet that I can find and get, get it to... Uh... But I, yeah. I'm, simultaneously, I'm never hosting a barbecue. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Like, this, this, yeah, I don't see That's me doing you this That's what you think, stuff. we're going to host one in your back garden. Yeah. <laughs> what, what are all these people doing? What the fuck are you guys doing here? Get the fuck out of my property. <laughs> get off my lawn. Yeah, no, because the thing, like, to Q also doesn't particularly, like, buy a lot of stuff. Um, he has some objects that he's picked out, you know, that very eclectic, but he, he's also like, oh yeah, when you come over, you can just decorate. Cause he, he does like having a decorated space. He just doesn't want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll come over and I'll put like a little, put like a little tablecloth and put a couple candles and like, I got him like a serviette holder because his serviettes were just chucked on the table. Or like just little things no. like that. Yeah, this is stuff that men don't think about. I'm in the water, uh, Wumble. I can't really do anything with oh, this. Shit. Can I push this? Plus, if I don't do all of it, then I could be like, I, I could be the subject of like a rom com or something, you know? Like some hot chick enters my life and is like, I need to fix him. And then, you know, starts doing oh, yeah, all yeah, the yeah, yeah. buying coffee tables and all or that she, stuff. Or she enters your house with like, fuck that shit. I'm a man that decorates his house like this. I'm not going to get into that. Fuck that. No, no, no. Are no. you not going to get a mannequin at least to put your stormtrooper armor on? No. Why? This is be, a bit it's much. Halfway, be halfway between decoration and storage, so it's not just sitting so, in a box. Oh, okay, let me reframe the question uh -huh, then. Uh -huh. is, so, is moving into a bungalow purely an economic thing for you? Uh, how do you mean? As in, like, going from renting to owning or something? Yeah, essentially. Also, also there is a crow feather here, and I'm trying to mine enough. it. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to rent anymore. Granted, I'm probably going to be still spending my money on the upkeep for the building, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, but I just, I mean, like... Okay, if you need a crow feather, it's on me right now, but I can't chop it, because I don't, I don't have a high okay. tier tool. Do I, okay. do I have it? I'll, yeah. I'll come over there. Oh, I'm, I'm, um, I'm close. I can oh, come over there. I think I can. Okay, home lights coming. Um, yeah, no, because oh! I mean, like, normally when people buy a house, they might oh, find nice. some joy in making the house feel like their own, you know? Yeah, yeah that's what I like. But and, and I will. If, but if it's purely it. for economical reasons, then that's I, something I else. I will make it my own, but I, I suppose that's my point. My own. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Don't let people tell you how to do yeah. decorate it. Definitely do it for yourself. That's why I have yeah. a full room completely dedicated to some retro gaming. There's Nintendo, I, I suppose... Nintendo 6, uh, uh, Super Nintendo. I suppose the way that you're framing it, though, Wumble, is it sounds mm -hmm. like you're... So, obviously, you're saying you don't want anybody else to choose what it's going to be like. Yes. But it also kind of seems like you're also not going to choose anything yourself you're just going to bring over the furniture that you already have and then you're just going to let the vibes take over no, you know like maybe i misworded it then i i will choose things of my own volition but in my own time and and when they're functional oh yeah yeah, yeah. Not... yeah fair enough i i don't want to you and in your own time are sentences that do not mix but you know what i mean as in yeah, I, yeah. I, I i don't want to get something just because oh there's an empty space in this house that needs no, to get but filled I, I, I with get crap. that a mother can get really enthusiastic going like oh you need this and this look yeah. will look great etc etc yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay. I, I yeah totally no, get it. With, what is with the more rim space? world of furniture what 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 is the rim world of furniture uh, in what context i don't know what you mean 
since Rumble's going to do it in his own time, it's just going to be RimWorld Factorio. <laughs> <laughs> So what are, what are these concepts well, for this furniture? The, the, I think like you're gonna have enough space to set up like the, there's gonna be its own area for VR in your house, so you're never gonna have to like. The, there is, there is gonna Larry's... be one thing. Yeah, I think I got them all, didn't I? Oh no. Um, are you, are you gonna paint an entire room green and that be the pass-through room? There's going to be one. So there's a large white wall which stretches down one side of the room. Jesus mm -hmm. Christ, I'm right. <laughs> And on the white wall, I'm going to place a Aww, single, hid, like eyes. almost hidden in the corner, a single stencil in blue ink. There's another one here, by the way, right above me. Oh, okay. And the stencil is going to be of something called the Eye of the Universe from a game called Outer Wilds. Oh, yeah. Outer Wilds, yeah. I like okay. that. It's very nerdy. I love that. The little quiet little thing. And maybe all over the place, I might do a few more quiet stencils, like behind furniture or like just above the kitchen of. Um, like the Ash Twins, you know, the Icon? Yeah. Or, I don't know, like uh, all, all the other little planets. <laughs> all their little icons. Yeah, but I, I love that yeah. stuff. I have the I have the, the in the gaming room as well. Just a little bit of the retro stuff and, uh, yeah. Speak, speaking of, uh... What's the berry? I saw are you going to, like, or... All right. Uh... You go, kick. No, I was going to just... Are you going to, like, do north, east, south and west and then just stance all the different planets in the different directions? Yeah, like in little, 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 little corners, you know, just sneak, sneak it yeah. around. That's my plan. Yeah, I like that. Just not, not enough that it's interfering with the room's aesthetic. Are you going to be moving by Christmas? So, uh, I'm hoping to start moving the non-essential boxes and then set a move date at some point. Oh, but, sorry, do you answer your question? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to need your new address. Yeah, thank you. Whatever it is, you no, actually, fuck you. What are you planning? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna send you a pizza. I, they, they do sell tea tables on Amazon. <laughs> Rumble, <laughs> Rumble. Remember, you showed me where you grew up, so I'm just gonna drive around there looking no. for bungalows. <laughs> no, you cannot escape. Why would you, why would you sent. show that to this man? That is very dangerous. We had, you, we had you the. Just uh... have to, you just have to look for a bungalow with like a tiny like. Grandma's car parked yeah. out front. Grandma's car? <laughs> I drive no, a no, Lamborghini. No, no, no. I, I'm pretty sure Cy and I had helped him uh, pick his car. So I, I think he has a pretty <laughs> decent car. I don't Simon know actually had no car, so uh, picked the, uh, to pick a car. So, yeah, I, that's I, I believe I know what make of car he's got. I saw your car. It's a nice car. Yeah. Mm, thank you. But, yeah, let's not mention the thing. because Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. That's why I'm saying no. Just the same thing, Mick. Speaking of Outer Wilds, um, Q is going to be back in Norway for end of August, Ooh. so hopefully we'll continue yes. our little, little playthrough. Mm. Well, I have highlighted the previous stream so we can watch it to remember what yep. we learned. <laughs> All you need to know is the rock is a light switch. Disturb the mites and they'll bite. Oh god, yeah, just, yeah. Honestly, <laughs> just... <laughs> Take just that, playing a game like Outer Wilds with Joe, who's got ADHD coming out of every direction, is just, it's just going to be interesting. But um, hopefully that I can keep him on track. <laughs> yes. Once we've completed Outer Wilds, we can only vicariously live through new people doing it. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's the thing. I'm the opposite. Like, I want to watch people play it, but I feel like I should play it first. <laughs> and so I'm like... Yeah, oh, yeah. Very, yeah, very much play it first. Very, yeah. Because I'm very much the type of person, like, ever since I was quite young, I always used to enjoy people playing games maybe more than I enjoyed doing it myself. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, for this game, I've just decided that I need to play it for myself first. Oh, yes. yeah. I would, I would agree. Speaking to the audience, please do that. Do not look up Outer Wilds. Just trust us and play it. Yeah, um, it's one of it's one is... of the few games these days I can think of that you can only really play once. Yes, it's it's and a it's story. Designed. It's a story mystery game. So just the box art blurb, I suppose, where you play as an astronaut going on his first space mission. And it's really, really like you finish the game and you're like, oh my god, I wish I could delete all memory of what I just played. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. I, I did start actually on an Outer Wilds playthrough by myself like a couple years ago. But 
it was very difficult for me personally to make my chat follow along with my thinking. I think I was... I should have slowed down a bit and explained stuff so that the chat was able to kind of follow along. That was my... You reckon? challenge with it yeah because people would like uh, start asking like how do you know that or where did that knowledge come Poison. from and i wouldn't really be able to pinpoint it yeah. perfectly like i'd be able to remember oh yeah but i learned it from like somewhere but i didn't remember exactly where from and so i couldn't really explain my uh train of thought hmm. what do you need to know is everything to the eye <laughs> I've, I've been murdered. Fucking uh, wolf spiders, man. We've got a wolf spider on us. The wolf spider's AI as well. <laughs> no, like, I'm, I don't mean to say... So, the, the what I mean with Outer Worlds is that people who are chatters, very out, rarely do they Poison. spend 100% of their time 100% focused on the Outer Worlds stream. Mm, we need help. help. They synchronize, that's how you know it's serious. Ugh, something bad's happening. Yeah, I might uh, die. Someone help! How far are you guys? Six seconds. They are on the uh, Shit. outside um, of the. Alright, oh, the. Oh, the beers. Yeah. I'm dead. Uh, I might be able to get one ball. <sighs> uh, yes, problematic. It's a single player story game, and also just a. Help. Just to motivate the uh, people on the fence, con consider how fucking picky I am with computer games. Consider that for like, god, 20 years, like my favorite games, what, Dungeon Keeper, Startopia, or whatever? Ah, oh. uh, thanks, right there. And yet, despite that being true, Outer Wild is now my favorite game. So it's come out of, it's dethroned my previous favorite game. You could, uh, one more, or are you dead? I'm dead. You yeah. got dead, I couldn't see. I've tried to lure the spider close to the house, but it didn't follow, so I don't know. Oh, so Thank I you anyway. now it's gone. have... Uh, 47 berry chunks. Cool. Yeah, let me put some, some on the dryer as well. I think we need it to be daytime to get a lot more bees. I kept an eye out, but I didn't think there were only a couple on the other side of the pond. Bees are sleeping. And I feel like the jerky racks take a bit too long. Yeah. Where's the food chest? Downstairs? Is it down? The one that says edibles. <laughs> Uh, Starboy, there shouldn't be any uploaded footage. Oh, unless you mean the closet. Yes, yes, sorry. Hmm. Thank you, Kamora. Thank you very much, Kamora. Alright, berry leather is dr Yeah, berry leather is drying. Yeah, let me drop the rest mm. of the berries in the chest. Can't waste food. Can't waste food. Mm. Can't waste food. Yeah, my one of my favorite, although I will fully admit that the the kind of vibe of the majority of the game is rather childish, is It Takes Two. Um, Which one's that? It's a... So, it's probably not going to be your cup of tea, I'll be honest, but mm -hmm. it's a game about basically cooperating with another person and going through a narrative. Sounds I mean, horrible. You, could, you could do it on, a, <laughs> like... You could do it like sarcastically with Alistair or something, but yeah. um, <laughs> but yeah, there's there are some very. I'm not picky. How how do I put this without spoiling it? There there are some very out of character moments throughout the game that make it so that it is definitely not a game for children, um, and I really want to like let Q see those parts of the game. But he just can't get past the initial, like, oh, you know, it's cartoony and it looks nice kind of vibe of it. Yes. Yes, that bit, Ilse. Yes. <laughs> the elephant bit. Yep. Hmm. You know, when the main characters get elephantitis. Ah. One second, there's something very important I must do. Uh-huh.
Yeah, honestly, I just, I love, so I love the, the feel of It Takes Two. It reminds me a little bit of the Toy Story 3 video game, which I actually also quite enjoyed. Hmm. Um, I don't think I've ever played that. It's a little bit, like, grounded in that you're a tiny size, because you do play as, like, toys, mm -hmm. but it's more of a platformer, puzzly kind of thing, rather than a sandbox. Yeah. Rather than a sandbox game, but it did have a story mode, which was more of that platformy bit, and then it I've had never a, a platformer, uh, too it had, had like a house, like a town management bit, which was just for fun, where you could like build houses and decorate them how you wanted. But that was kind of parallel to the other, other part of the game. Hmm. I've never, I've never been a big puzzle game. Uh... Enjoyer. Bevenly, not not in that way. Like not in like it's um how do I explain it? It's like it's kinda like this with grounded where you're like, oh you knock over a shovel and that's how you get up somewhere, you know, like mm -hmm. it's not like a complicated puzzle, oh, but yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. how do you figure out how to get to the next like how do you uh arrange these boxes so that you can climb high enough? Like that's what I mean by puzzling, basically. Not as in like portal. <laughs> Which again is another one of my favorites, Portal Two specifically. Mm. Portal Two was amazing. Portal Two was my first PC game that I owned. Really? Yes. God, I feel old. It's not that you're <laughs> old; it's that my family couldn't afford video games for a very long time. Mm. Well, that's, um, that's, that's I what mean, piracy kind of justified in my opinion. Both probably, but yeah, um, like my cousin had video games long before Portal Two. But like I said, I was mostly a spectator until we could afford our video games. We did have console games, though. We had hmm. that before. But those were more expensive PC. than the, uh, the PC games. Hmm? Those were generally more expensive than the PC games. The console yeah, games. Yeah, but we got the console as, like, Yum. me and my brother got the console as, like, a joint gift. Ah, right. So it was kind of, the, like, that was our... I don't remember if it was from Santa only or if it was from, was from like, Santa and from Mum and Dad, but it was, like, the one big present we got uh, one Christmas was a PlayStation 2. As a kid, I pirated every single video game on the PC. Uh, <laughs> so it's only now as an adult that I was like, yeah, now I can afford them, so I'm, I no longer do that. I don't want to do it anymore. But it's, yeah. I... Uh, yeah. I used to go over to the, I know, the, this this shows what generation I was in, but I used to walk over to the neighbors and play video games. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, which is, again, I, I know I've said this before, but it's a funny story, really. Like, we, we went to primary school together, like, up until, like, seventh grade. And then we didn't really speak much. Like, we'd meet every now and then on the bus and things like that. Uh, the guy that I used to play video games with when I was really, really young. And then I needed Norwegians for Operation Freshman in armor, and I just randomly asked him, like, hey, would you mind <laughs> hopping into armor and being a Norwegian oh, in wow. my yeah. operation? And he was like, yeah, no, I'd love that. So yeah. he, he was one of the people. So we met think. him. Yeah, that was yeah. the Hester Cook uh, mission, wasn't it? <laughs> you exposed yeah. him to ZF. Oh, no. Uh, well, to be fair, I think he and his brothers were probably part of the reason that I could handle ZF in the first place. <laughs> so I don't think uh, it was, yeah, I don't think he had any trouble with it whatsoever. They, they gave some calluses on your soul to handle, I... uh, <laughs> to handle us cans. Oh, I... I loved going to his birthday parties because him and his brothers had, like, the wicked sense of humor. I would cry laughing. It was so good. Like, I would have so much fun at those birthday parties, so I would never miss a single one. I loved how I barely needed to edit anything about that, that episode of Armour, where we just turned... Great, the it? first <laughs> thing, literally the first thing that happens is someone steals one of their bicycles. And oh, yeah. Yeah. Can I, yeah, yeah, that was me. It was, it was, it was me and Tom. Was, <laughs> yeah, the Dutch immediately went and stole the bikes. I like, hey, yeah. bike, I like those. <laughs> yeah, also the fact that... so. I, I was trying desperately because I had never Zeused before, so I was trying to figure out like the user interface for Zeusing in armor. Yeah. Which is that's one challenge. And then for some god awful reason they decided to send the two Danes off together. So there I'm sitting, you know, a Norwegian trying to pay attention while two Danes are speaking Danish to each other, trying to figure out what they are saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and so uh, for those unfamiliar, in my right ear, 
I would have the local communications that would be in Norwegian and in Danish, in this case. In my left ear, I would have long-range communication going from Norwegians to Brits and the other way around. And also the Discord That's conversation going with the other Zeus's. So my brain was... I, I had a massive headache. Yeah. I, I do this when I fly the helicopter. <laughs> I have like long range in one ear and a, lo a local in the other yeah. ear and then the, local ch the, uh, the short range in the other ear and a local chat in both ears. I can't follow anything. I need to really focus on mm -hmm. one thing. I won't pick up anything else. Mill brain, yeah. monkey, mill monkey brain, no computer. Just to have like, have like one push to talk for the Discord with the Zeus's, and then another push to talk for the local chat, and then a third push to talk for the long range radio. I just, I just gave up at some point. <laughs> I said like, say my name if you need yeah. me, because I'll zone out otherwise, because I need to concentrate to hear what people either. are saying. Which is like, that's, that's the thing is like, sometimes, um, Sometimes the radio will call like all units or all aircraft. That's, yeah, that's so, that. so that. easy to miss. Yeah. Because you're like hit, you're trying to hear for your name, but yeah. And, he, and you have slightly tired brain as well. I'll go like, huh? <laughs> what, what are we doing again? <laughs> oh, I remember the first time I was uh, Q's co pilot and I was doing the radios and I was like, Oh my god, I have to like concentrate so hard and try and say the right thing. I think I did pretty decent, but I was very nervous. Hmm. Well, thank you for zoosing. As in on that yeah. thing. That was pretty no cool. No problem. I'm I'm thinking at some point, I don't know when, because it's kind of living and floating in the air, but obviously uh Q does a fair bit of zoosing, so we might be doing another Norwegian mission Ooh. sometime. Ooh. Probably going to base it on like Narvik and stuff like that. Um, Picnic tail was to the west, right? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go hunt bees. Should we go yeah, get me bees? Too. Yeah, Let's bees. Go. Let's go. There's a bee here. Bee, bee. Zip, 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 zip. There's a bee here. Above the lake. Okay, Mr. Ant. It's, go it's not gonna be World War Two up. It's just based on modern day Narvik. We have to try and escape it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yellow horse cock at the natives. <laughs> I, I recall that I. Uh, what was it? Oh, I told Harry, I bet five subs that you won't shoot uh, Joink, and immediately shoots him. Muscle memory. <laughs> oh. you, you did a great job, Cake, with the fucking translation guide as well. Yeah, that was brilliant. It was very funny. <laughs> it was a long con. <laughs> yeah, fucking snuck up on me with that fucking where's the next bullshittery. Yeah. Uh. Uh, I was so, I was so, like, pleased with myself as well, because obviously I was too busy to, to like, pay attention to what was happening during, so I went back to like wind down and watch the VOD. <laughs> yeah. And I I heard you say it and I just text like sent Digby a message <laughs> like, we got it! <laughs> God damn I, I, you. I did like the uh the uh seven obedient schoolboys just practicing Norwegian. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and it's <laughs> going through the words and dream. repeating them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the front page of the actual booklet is based off of a real booklet, um, except it wasn't a booklet in basic Norwegian. It was a booklet in basic English that my grandma owned. So it's actually from the time period. Things that, you know, are wildly unnecessary, but did just add to the vibe. Yeah. It's all good memories for the future. Did that book have horse cock in it? <laughs> no, no. No, I looked at it randomly up on Google and found it was like, oh, what's horse cock in Norwegian? That's, that's, um, that's, but, that was yeah, just the, me. The logo that's on the front is an actual logo from like it's a book publishing company that used to exist. Well, an actual horse cock, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Near cook a test cook. And I think it's the slogan that it says is like, knowledge is power. Just in Norwegian. Kinskapen oh. makt. God. That's knowledge it. is yeah. power. Yeah. Francis yeah. Bacon. Kevin Bacon. Yeah, French is bacon. <laughs> Fucking hell, I want some bacon. No! No! I've, Calories. I've got bacon nope. in the fridge. You had the beer, you can't have nope. the bacon now. I, I want some bacon. No, you had, you had the beer, you can't have the bacon, what, what, bacon? What, what if I cook the bacon with a salad? Uh, no. That's still too many calories. And then drizzle oh. extra uh, the top uh, dressing over the salad. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you can't have a dry salad, I mean. I do have a bit of bacon in the fridge. No! Okay. <laughs> well. See, this This is why the diet doesn't work. I know. <laughs> First of all, stop buying bacon. Yeah, Wumble, did you see that? You can get squeezy bacon. Squeezy I bacon? I saw that. That was so weird. 
Yeah, bacon in a tube, basically. Ugh. Here, have a dent line tuft. Oh, yes, please. You could, like, um, if you don't feel like cooking all the time, it's probably best to meal prep, right? Yeah, well, that's what I was like, doing. I was make doing a gajillion burritos and freeze them. Mm -hmm. So I, I've got um, uh, two different types of salads. I've got like a four four salads in total, mm. uh, as in the nice. right vegetables or whatever. Oh, zoom, 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 zoom. Yeah, that? I love love doing wraps. I'll do wraps with wraps like nice. chicken mm. or even like breaded chicken sometimes, like chicken nuggets in a wrap. Mm. Beef. I like my beef in a wrap. Uh, what else? I'll do falafel, the uh, veggie kind of. Meatball y things. There's a lot of bees over there as well. Yeah, just get some of them. Yeah, we don't want to like, fight them all. Maybe start with the ones that are like on this you end. Can, you can always go to the top. Go on. Oh, there's one. Oh, okay, yeah. more. Bee. They got me two beavers. They look so soft. Yeah. Oh, there's one here. Shoot it. Last summer, I, I had that situation where I found a, 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 a it was a bumblebee, one of the big ones, mm -hmm. and it was a. It was it couldn't fly and it was stuck just to the pave to the pavement in the scorching heat. Oh yeah, oh, that's, so that's I took horrible. I took it inside. I put glass and a, a piece of card, and then I used the uh, the stuff that I got for the ant farm, like the little tweezers and all that, to mm. give it give it some sugar water. And I saw the little tongue, and the little tongue came out, and it had a drink of sugar water. And now there are no bees in Brighton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it rested for a bit, and then it seemed to be energetic again. Then I, I let it fly away out the window. Yeah, with some of the insect and pests, I generally just smack them and just they, they go in, into the bin. But bees, I generally just scoop outside and let them go again. I have a lot of bees actually right now in my uh, front yard. There's uh, a lot of flowers going on, so I, li I like seeing Ooh. that. Ow. Ow. Ow, 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 ow! What do pollen arrows do? Uh, same thing as our armor. Release like a cloud of pollen, probably. Same as. I believe it stuns and or slows. Ah. He does not like me. Ah, leave me alone! Leave tiny people alone out! I can't catch my breath! I have eight beefers. I'm alive. Nice. Oh my god. I'm alive. Some, get some more, maybe? Yeah, while we're here. While we're yeah, here. While we're here. Should we go this way? Yeah. Find the gap between the train yes, and the platform. Yes, I already fell edge. through that uh, <laughs> once today. I hated the underground. See it, say it, sorted. <laughs> yeah. I've spent too much time. In the UK. Same. <laughs> uh, let's go this oh, way. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, Thank you, Mage of Aesthetic. Thank you very much, Mage. But I'm, uh, I'm, I'm telling you, there's a surprising amount of ways to get from London to Birmingham. You can go through ways. Reading, you can go on the underground, you can go through some other weird places. Yeah, just... I've, I don't think I've gone the same route twice. <laughs> and I've been over quite a bit. The one thing in common is all of them are equally shit. Um. Well, some of them are quite okay, because you'll get on the train... Um, the train in London and it'll take you all the way to like Birmingham New Street or whatever but 
like bringing a large suitcase on the underground just is not my favorite thing in the world. That doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Especially in the summer when you're being grilled alive on there. No air conditioning in there. Nope. Also, no Wi Fi. So. Oh. That's why you download your porn before going on the underground. Well, it's more you have to figure out which line you're supposed to take in which direction before you go down, because once you go down, you can't Google it. Then you have to make use of actual maps, which is fine. It's just a little bit more time consuming than putting even in your... even worse, social interaction. Yeah. Never do that on the underground. Uh oh. Out. It's fine though, because if I'm if I'm ever dumb in the UK, I can just put on a Norwegian accent, and then I'm a tourist, and I you yeah. Know. <laughs> just pretend you can't speak English. One time when I accidentally bought a paper ticket instead of a digital one when going on a train, but the mm -hmm. conductor was lovely and just said, "Let me print that for you," and I was like, "Thank you very much." That's cool. But yeah, it did... Q's dad's very much a train guy, so he knows how to like save money. On oh, trains. so is Q. Well, he the train simulator things a lot. Yes, but comparatively, his dad is much worse. Damn it, I can't land a single fucking arrow. Uh, there's probably only about three train lines in the entirety of the UK that his dad hasn't been on. Like... A proper, uh, proper train nerd. Yep. Ow. You get it? Yeah. Uh, there we go. Do you know, weirdly, it was a very, very long time before I actually properly tasted honey. Like, I was a full grown ad adult before I ever had honey on its own. For some reason, my household never had it. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Fair enough. I mean, obviously, I'd probably tasted honey in, in like various sugary too... things. Honey is such a scam yeah, nowadays as well. Class for Womble. Ninety percent of what they sell as honey is just basically sugar syrup. It's not even honey. Mm. Surely not. Yeah, we. Yeah, if it, no, no, if it says blend or source from Asia or whatever, it's uh, likely they put like ten percent honey in it, and the rest is just sugar water. Uh, it's, we've it's, got it's some huge... friends of the family that are it's beekeepers, so we yeah. get honey sometimes for like. Not... And we've got bees at work. <laughs> Not sure you get away with that in the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, no, it's it's well known. The, the the thing is, the the demand for honey is way higher than they can supply. And uh, if you put like ten percent actual honey in it, then it counts as honey. We had a mystery in uh, with the bees at work because with the bees lived in a like, beehive on top of the roof of the building in the city. Come on, back. They did like measurements no. of, of the buzzing that the bees did, and every day at noon specifically, it's a in the, can. the bees would buzz louder for some reason. Okay. okay. And we didn't really have an explanation as for why. I don't know if they ever found out. Mm. It's a but... mystery. Yeah. Uh, oh, I have okay. 10 bee fuzz on me. Nice. So, uh, I can make at least one or two more of those armor sets. Sweet. I need to repair my existing armor. Yeah. Is Any there a way to here? enter that can in an easy way, or...? We just uh, ask them to get whatever's in there. I just mean like... Because there's a bee in there, fighting. Yeah, with them loud. Yeah. yeah. Can't help him. How did you even get in there? Skill jump. I jump. Mm. Hmm, fair enough. Okay. I, any more bees to be murdered? I think that's all of them. Well, there's some further down that we can aggro if we wanted to. Do we want we to? Might, we yeah, might as well. Like, might as well now we're here. Because, right, like, we need beefers all the time. 
pulling them now. Right, pull back a bit. So they don't fall off. Quite low on ammunition. Yeah. There we go. This entire adventure with the bees also uh, reduced my armor to so. There's so little that I need some uh, end line parts soon to repair it as well, oh, Jesus. Or, or upgrade it. So yeah, perpetual grind of uh, getting equipment yeah. uh, yeah. stuff. Just upgrade it, because yeah. we'll just use the brittle plating. Cool, should we head back to the base? Yeah, let's head back. Sounds good. We've got our things. Geronimo! Ow, you bastard! Whee! Peter, hang in there. You're gonna be okay. Did you carry those all the way up here for that purpose alone? One Maybe. Tiny beat. Back in the game. There we go. What? Uh, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, oh no! I'm okay. Alright. Meals on wheels. Ah, shit. So, yeah. Here this... I come to save the day. This week I've got regular work. Um, trying to do more jogging and uh, sort out my diet a bit more. Uh, what else? Obviously, the bungalow thing I'm hoping goes favorably. Yeah, well, it's, at least there's some progress in it now. I so hope that's so. good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at you, Kick. Hmm? Doing your big float. Yeah. What um, what is quite fun though is that when you do the um the the there's like a a, a search on title I think it's called. The lawyer yeah. basically does like a deep dive down like the okay what's the actual legal claim to the land. Yeah, make sure it's all actually, they're allowed to sell it, that kind of stuff. Yeah, and you get like this, these <gasps> documents like penned in like 1948 or something. Oh, really? And it's like, this, cool. this parcel of land has been handed down by such and such. Whoop. I was I was going to say the amu most amusing thing out of that is the fact that you said that the lawyer does it. Yeah. With, with you, it's probably been you that's had to do it because yeah. your solicitor's off masturbating somewhere. Yeah. But it's a case of like, here are the ancient like uh, boundaries set and all, yeah, all legal speak. Well, you, gotta, you gotta have the whole history of who owned what and when. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's gonna be a while still until we have to buy an apartment or something, but I don't know. I'm kind of excited for it. Here. There you got the uh, the Thank fun of having much, a, uh, home ownership Thank you, uh, issues. Yeah. yeah. Arranging painters, making sure it's all up to spec uh, on the uh, stuff that needs maintenance. Mm -hmm. But at that point, it, it's also the thing of it's yours. You yeah, oh, yeah definitely. As... You don't mind putting some money into it because it's yeah. actually yours. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's yours. It's yours to do as as you please yeah, yeah, at yeah. your own pace. Well, yeah. to some extent, yeah. 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 Um, my brother made the mistake of becoming a plumber, which means that every time my dad has a plumbing <laughs> problem, he'll ask. Ah oh, yeah, yeah. If if my dad ever needs to relearn how to count, I'll be there for him. You know, uh -huh. like. <laughs> if he needs to see horse cock in English, there you go. Yeah. Well, yeah. To, to be fair, for my parents, with the computer things as well, I don't mind doing it for my parents or my uh, direct siblings, but I don't do it for uncles, nephews, and that kind of stuff and neighbors. Surely you just have a tape recorder at this point for your parents going, have you turned it on and off again? No, I just gave my dad a uh, MacBook, so he can't really destroy it anyway. I know I've talked <laughs> about this before, but my uncle brought his laptop for me to have a look at. Mm -hmm. um, and I tried to write, because cause, um, the main problem that he was having was that he had poor vision, so he wanted higher contrast on his like Windows theme, mm -hmm. which should be a rather simple problem to fix. 
if it wasn't for the fact that his computer was like full of I don't know like gunk and malware and uh, everything. So you need at least fourteen toolbars in your browser. I, yeah. <laughs> I right clicked on his desktop and it took four minutes for the menu to pop oh, up. Oh dear lord. Uh, and well, so I spent a good like hour and a half, you know, like running, like cleaning and like fixing stuff and virus scans and removing stuff and got it in like a workable state. And then his second issue was that he wanted to link to Zoom meetings through his Outlook account. And I said, well, you need two factor authentication for that. And he said, well, I'm not going to do it then. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We have well, at least you know who was the Bitcoin miner in Norway. Yeah, it was his laptop. Yeah. By that point, just you just fucking reformat. It's just too. Yeah, it's a lot of course. And actually put an SSD disk in there. Yeah. yeah, but you know, he's he's of that generation where you don't have backups of anything. So. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I say, as I've only gotten proper backups this year, <laughs> but um, to be fair, there were a bunch of photos like. You take a bunch of photos when you're a tourist in a foreign country, and then you look back at them and you're like, I didn't really need, like, 12 different shots of this random temple in Japan, you know, like, mm -hmm. that people have posted on social media a gajillion times. So I'll keep the photos that have, like, actual memories in them. Yeah. And people. But, but not just the snapshots that would go on Instagram, I'd delete those. I remember we went to a little bonsai garden, uh, which was planned. Like, I went on an organized trip, so we had a plan to go to a tea ceremony near this bonsai garden. And we all loved it. Don't get me wrong, it was a lovely tea ceremony. But we all got way more excited that there was a um, Akita in the in the garden. <laughs> 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 little dog. Aww. We played with the dog and like, oh, yeah. And... Um, the dog was owned by this elderly gentleman, and when he he got there, the dogs were like jumping, like so <laughs> excited. Like when he wasn't around, they were just chilling in the sun, you know, super zen. Mm. And then when the owner got there, they were puppies again, you know. Like, it was so <laughs> sweet. So yeah, we we probably probably the budget we paid probably a fair bit for the tea ceremony, but it was the dog outside that was the big <laughs> main event. <laughs> You've reminded me of that. There's that video of the... Uh, I think he's the former Irish Prime Minister. And he, he's at like, like some formal event or something. But no one's paying attention to the formal event. Or like the singer on the stage. Because he's got this big... He had these two like... Is it Burmese mountain dogs? You know, the, the huge mountain dogs with the big shaggy fur? Mm. And of course, they're just prowling around through the crowd. Trying to get attention from everybody. Like rolling out, you know just trying to get pets and everyone was just looking at the two dogs and going oh you know Burmese mountain dog is that the ter you know like giant mountain dog maybe I'm not sure if that's the I don't know what yeah, English yeah, is. Yeah. I know which one she means though on. the big floof yeah Burmese sorry Burmese mountain dog not Burmese um what was I going to say how do we upgrade our stuff again? Uh, at the uh, anvil. The anvil. Also, have you seen what goes into that embiggening cocktail that we need to make? No. We need five toenails. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> human toenails. Uh, that says toenails. It doesn't specifically say human, but I reckon, reckon so. Ugh. Uh, so who's going to bite some toenails? To, uh... Ugh. Um, hang on. I put all the beef fuzz in the storage as well. I built I built the end line spurs that I have, so I have the full set now to uh, to get go against sizzling. So I might be able to. Where's the anvil? Oh, it's that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, never mind. So how do we get the brittle plating? Yeah, craft this. We make more. Brittle. Sap and we grub hide. Well, yeah, but there's two ways to make it, I think. We still have six quartite shards, and brittle. Brittle marble shards, but we don't have any more of those. Do you mean the whetstone or the plating? Okay. So we need to mine those as well. 
Put your front wheel quartz side. Hey there, buddy. What's up? I was talking to the yeah. ant, Pete. Oh, yeah, I knew that. There we go. That should keep me safe. Mm, safe for. Looks like they gain durability yeah. when you upgrade them. Cool. Yeah, I wouldn't upgrade it completely at the uh, from the get-go because it's an easy way to repair it once it's damaged. Yeah. Cool, I've got my armor back on. Thank you. Right. Yeah, indeed. Admiral Zakbar. Yeah, one of the dogs died. The Irish Prime Minister. I presume he's not the Irish Prime Minister anymore. That was a while ago. I have for some reason 10 arrows on me here. Thank you. Appreciate it. More even here. Arrow. <sighs> Don't worry, it's soon bedtime. Yes. Yeah, another arrow here. I've got a fairly early start tomorrow because Lulu is once again being a dog sitter for a dog with separation anxiety. Ah. So she's going to go and stay over at, uh, at someone's house where they've got a nervous dog. And they've got one of those little cameras that lets you see the dog's behavior when they're away. Mm -hmm. And so when, when they're not there, the dog is howling and crying and it's upset. But when Lulu's there, the two of them just hang out and play. Oh, that's great. That's good as it works. I, yeah. I slowly build it up with Ceci because, uh, well, as a puppy, she, she got that as well. But I slowly added more and more time where I would be away for like first five minutes, ten minutes. Yeah. And eventually 15 minutes until they know, why, yeah, he's coming back. They, they got to get it into their minds that, yeah, he is coming back. He's not going to leave me indefinitely. Yeah. So that's how I kind of got it over for the course of two or three weeks. But yeah, so Lulu's just going to stay for a few hours and just, yeah, hang out and keep That's it good. company. Yeah. Hey. Are you waiting on the berry leather to be able to make the, um... Yeah. The final piece of your armor, Mag? No, no, I, I, got, I got all of it. Cool. So, so go ahead, build it. Greetings, Rising Light, and your Lulu uh, as well. He I did it. <laughs> yes. Nice. <laughs> Lulu has herself a little cigar. Thank you, pardon. She's got a little, uh, like it's like a duck flavored chew. Why are these arrows highlighted on my screen now? That's weird. Cool, so armor restored. In better shape now. Fumble. Yep. What's I have up? found the greatest piece of artwork. The greatest piece of artwork? Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you, yes. Wait, can <laughs> you can you draw? Oh. No, yeah. Oh, you can draw. Oh, oh no, you, shit, I fucked it, sorry. Yeah, you can draw the penis. Mm. So next time, did you mm -hmm. say we would, so we should bring building materials and build on the barbecue so that we don't have to step on the Yeah, good bits. idea. I think that was what was said. And then we try and get to the okay, so... thingamajiggy. So, apparently, there's a waft emitter, and you can piss off bugs so they come to you. That might actually be useful. But there's 25 Ooh. signs, though. A little wafer fin emitter. Yeah, you can fall into like the like waft a... emitter, and then you can attract certain kind of bugs depending on what you put in it. Oh, oh, yeah, speaking of, hold on. Just attract quickly. ant lions to here. <laughs> what would be Although, the worst one? Yeah. Worst possible insect to summon to your location? The spider. Like a black widow spider or something. Bed bugs. Bed bugs. Chat, what would be the worst insect to summon to the base in the world? In real Lice. life. Did you, did you see this? 
this option. Thank you, Johnson. Uh, Thank you, Johnson. What option? One more. Is it, sorry? Does does this portrait look familiar to you? Uh, it looks like... No, it doesn't look like the science man. He looks different. No, no have you ever seen a picture of him, actually? Oh, no, what? I know yeah, that I've is. I've seen lots of pictures. Yeah, that's the fucking... That's the mad scientist who was like, Yeah, I'm, I'm mad scientist man. Send it's, these people away. <laughs> it's Director Schmechter. Yes. You know, we have a picture of him. There we go. Uh, thank you, Yar. the land finale. Yar. Thank you, land finale. Fiddly dee. Yes. Alright, probably run out of time for me this evening. Yeah, so next time yeah. we want to bring building materials. We want to try and see if that can help with the coal thing. Yes. Yeah. And because then... the sizzle meter went up pretty quickly, but yeah, I have the full set now, so I'm not sure how well that will protect. We'll see, though. Yeah, we'll, we will see. We'll go straight for the next part of the story when, we, when we're when we back next, yeah? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, yeah. sounds good. Cool. All right, well, thank you right, for the yeah, game. Thanks for the games. Yeah, what, what uh, are Give me a moment. Uh -huh. oh. Just so I can run back to base. Yeah. What are people doing now? Might do some Elder and Cole with Tom. And maybe Baffin if they're uh, weak. Oh. I'm going to make some I'd make myself a drink and then not an alcoholic but just yeah, a, yeah, a little nightcap yeah, yeah, yeah and then sit down and maybe listen to a podcast before bed or something mm. i'm going to make a bacon sandwich no oh, that goes massive the diet. bacon that goes sandwich the see this is this is where it goes right you shouldn't eat this late in the evening because that will stick if you go to sleep yeah yeah I will think uh, about a bacon sandwich. Yeah, 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 dream about the bacon sandwich. Yeah. Why don't you Wake make... up with bacon bits in your bed with form a bacon sandwich. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you make breakfast plans for a bacon sandwich so you have something to look forward to tomorrow? That is an excellent idea. I'm going to cook the bacon right now. And if some of it goes you missing shouldn't... <laughs> on the way to the fridge. <laughs> you oh can't cook gosh. bacon and not snack on it. That's, that's impossible. Yeah, it's against yeah. the law. Yeah. You you should get like a Lulu like a heart rate monitor for your stream feet. so your chat can yeah. publicly shame you when yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, did Lulu she know the word? staring intently just go every time you see bacon. bacon. Did she know the word? Bacon. 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 But well, that's also like how you are saying it. Like, oh, yeah, there's yeah. yeah. been something like, interesting oh, being proposed here. That's a good proposition. Yeah. I'm not sure what it is, but give it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this hole in the carpet. Look at yeah, this. Luna's got to the point where I can't even say the full sentence. What the fuck is, is that? It, like, do you want to treat it? I get it's Lulu. Is that Lulu? <laughs> yeah. Has she been digging into the carpet? No, that's that's uh, the hole that's been ripped up from my computer chair because ah, this, yeah, yeah. this carpet is just so thin. Well, to be fair, I have laminated floors uh, here and they're all scratched up and everything. So that's just that's just yeah, grinding you away at the get, material. Like a vinyl mat or something. What me? Yeah. Yeah, there was a, 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 a like a small mat to protect it, but uh, so I'm I'm on a lighter chair now, which isn't is is gliding over it lots nah, faster, right. so it's fine. Hmm. Right, anyway, let me save it. Uh, save. Cool. I will host you up then on the one condition, Mag, that you immediately pet Sessie when the host I, begins. I will. I will do that. Cool, I'll cool. have to poke Tom if he's uh, still awake because uh, Tom, Tom sometimes does a little nap and then he wakes up seven hours later. <laughs> so I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, but uh, thank you. Thank you for that. Cool. I'll We're pet Sessie uh, on stream. Well, thank, you games. thank you for your thank company. You. Yeah. yeah. See you next Monday and we'll, if not sooner, and we'll do the, the story thing. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Bye-bye. 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 bye Okay, uh, so thank you for watching everyone. So that was a bit of Grounded on our continued playthrough as we work our way through the main story. Not that we did any story uh, this evening. So please know that on the bullshittery front, I'm working on Helldivers 2 bullshittery. I finished about 7 minutes and 28 seconds out of 10 minutes. With that progress, it means that by the time I get to Wednesday or Thursday, I should have the end-to-end -end video edited and it should be entering its quality assurance phase. So please give me another couple of weeks tops really to get this out the door uh, all is going fine i don't really have any major calamities to describe the editing is going just fine 
After Helldivers 2 bullshittery, I'm probably going to drop back into the Sons of the Forest video. I'm doing a very large three hour long video follow up to that forest video essay. So I would like to keep working on that in the hopes that I can get that out later this year. Right, so have a lovely evening everyone. I'm going to go to bed fairly soon. I'll, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do the bacon thing. I do need to go to bed soon. Uh, and I'll leave you in the company of Mag who is switching over to a bit of Elden Ring cooperative play, maybe, if, if Tom is awake. Thank you, Piet Snottery. Thank you, Lan Fanana, Johnster, Crimson, Mage of Aesthetic, and Strikers Mojo. Right. This is Mag, and more importantly, his cute dog, Ceci. This cute dog is now going to get a ton of attention and cuddles as we both go to bed. Thank you again. Have a lovely, lovely evening.